you love cookies. In this video. Molly, did you know that if you stick your arm up inside the crane game, um, you can actually just like take a toy out of there. What? That's cheating. I know, I would never do it because you know I'm not a thief, but I just think it's kind of cool that you could actually do it. Wait a minute. There were 10 toys in that crane game, and now there's only nine. Our friend Luke, he doesn't steal anything. Well, maybe we should let the police decide. Luke, they're about to call the cops. Wait, what? There's a toy missing from the crane game, and no money got put in. There were supposed to be 10 toys. And I didn't take them. I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. Well, it had to be somebody, and you were the only one standing here. Where's the criminal? I'm going to take him down. I can't believe I got put in a max security prison for all boys. Oh, I miss school. I miss my friends. I miss pizza. Oh, look, it's Daisy and Luke in the car together. Are they boyfriend and girlfriend? What? No. Everybody knows that Luke likes me, not my sister. Well, they're pulling up to the pizzeria together, Molly, so. <gasps> so? So what? Uh, Daisy probably just gave him a ride. Hey guys, what's up? I, uh, Luke just texted me and said he needed a ride. <laughs> See, told you. Would have been nice if he gave me a ride. Sorry, Molly, you were going over to pick up Fluky. Hey, everybody. Oh, hey, Luke. <laughs> what's up? Not much. Uh, Daisy just gave me a ride because she's really, <laughs> I mean, really nice. <gasps> oh, <laughs> thank you. So, um, we're going to go get pizza? Yeah, I thought so. Rosa Pizza is, like, the best. Except for if you count going to Chuck E. Cheese. What? Chuck E. Cheese? I haven't been there since I was like baby, a baby or something. <laughs> yeah, I think the last time we went, we were like three or four years old. I totally want to go to Chuck E. Cheese. It's so fun there. And a little bit creepy. Chuck E. is like something from my worst nightmares. Wrong Chuck E. Molly. Nope, 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 nope. I'm talking about Chuck E. Cheese, the giant creepy rat. Seriously? You're afraid of a giant mouse? Yeah, he is kind of creepy. Well, maybe he took the day off. I'm gonna go to Chuck E. Cheese and play some games and eat pizza. Yeah, me too. Let's see if we can all stuff inside my car. I don't know, Daisy, your car is really small, but we might be able to all fit in here. I get shotgun. See, we all fit. Just goes kind of slow because Molly ate too many cupcakes for lunch. What? Okay, I can't even deny that one. I probably did eat too many cupcakes for lunch. Chucky e. Cheese is so much fun! Daisy, way to run every single red light in the entire game. Uh, I didn't run that one, it was green. Yeah, but you just ran that one. Daisy, you just drove right by it! I'm parking in the back, chill out! Does anybody else notice that Molly and Daisy fight a lot? It's probably because they're sisters. Definitely the most annoying sister. <coughs> Whoa, Chucky e. Cheese got a makeover. Yeah, no creepy animatronics or anything. <gasps> yeah, just so many cool games. Hockey. This is one of my favorites. All right, I'm going to snap this because I just feel like um, people might not know that our town has such an awesome Chucky e. Cheese right now. Hey, guys, there's my BFF, Brookie. There's my annoying sister, Daisy. Hey, Molly Boot. And there is my um, <gasps> friend, yeah, friend, Luke. And we are at the new and improved Chuck E. Cheese. Look at this. This looks amazing. They have air hockey. They have bowling. Hey, Molly, they've got your favorite crane game. What? Okay, I got to finish this Snapchat, guys, because I'm going to go play crane game with um, Luke. Okay, bye. Hey, Molly, did you know that if you stick your arm up inside the crane game, um, you can actually just, like, take a toy out of there? What? That's cheating. I know. I would never do it because, you know, I'm not a thief, but... I just think it's kind of cool that you could actually do it. One time I watched this kid like crawl up in there and he got all the toys. And then he took a nap inside. You're making that up. No, I'm not. I'm being serious. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Well, um, I'll be right back because I'm going to go get a soda, but then we can play crane game. Do you want a soda too, Luke? Sure, that would be great. I'd love one. Okay, be right back. <laughs> he really likes me. Well, we're just waiting on the waiter or waitress to come take our order because I'm starving and I want something to eat. Yeah, Luke's waiting to play crane game with me, but I want some soda too. Oh, I can't wait to snap this. Oh, I look so cute today. Hey, everyone. Just looking adorable at my job. Excuse me, 
but not to be rude, but we're really hungry and we want something new to make. Can you please take our order? Yeah, and our friend Luke over there definitely wants something to drink and eat too. Wait a minute. There were 10 toys in that crane game and now there's only nine. Whoa, but friend Luke must have won one. No. There was no more money put into it because every time money gets put in, we get like a little signal on our phones that tells us that. Whoa, really? Yeah, it shows us every time we make a sale at Chuck E. Cheese and I didn't get one. So did your friend just steal from the crane game? Well, I just heard him say that you could stick your arm up in there and get a free toy. Um, Daisy, I'm not sure we should tell her that. Our friend Luke, he doesn't steal anything. Well, maybe we should let the police decide. What? No, put away your phone. He didn't do it. He's innocent. Mm, let's just let the police decide whether he stole a toy or not. Lady, why are you being so rude to my boyfriend? <gasps> your Ow. boyfriend? Who said it was your boyfriend? Oh, no. Are you guys going to fight over Luke? I mean, your sister's first, and then your friend's with Luke's second. But there's no fighting. He's my boyfriend. He's actually neither of your boyfriends. Well, I'm sure he didn't steal anything. Luke, Luke, they're about to call the cops. Wait, what? Why? Did Chuck E. Cheese come back? Has he gone crazy like you said? No, there's a toy missing from the crane game. And no money got put in. There was supposed to be ten toys, and now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two missing toys. Well, I didn't take them. I don't know what happened. It wasn't me. Well, it had to be somebody, and you were the only one standing here. Are you accusing me of stealing those toys? <gasps> I thought we were friends. Ah, uh, no, I'm not accusing you. I'm just saying that the police are coming. Uh-oh. I think you're innocent, though. Well, I'm sure it's just all a misunderstanding. Where's the criminal? I'm going to take him down. What? There's no criminal here. Actually, someone stole two toys from the crane game. And I looked at the surveillance footage, and you were the only one. <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he took it. Yeah. Maybe he's very good at being a thief. Is this the first time you've stolen from a crane game? <gasps> or are you a serial crane game thief? Uh-oh. Um, I don't even know if that's a real sentence you just said, but... Maddie, don't talk to the police like that. He'll be arrested next. Well, I'll be hauling you off to jail now. Wait, what? You can't take him. He's, he's my friend. Yeah, and he's going to stay here, lady. It's okay, Molly. I'm sure this is all a misunderstanding. Yeah. You'll be out in no time. I just know it. Mm-hmm. Sure you will. That's what all the criminals say. Come on. Let's go. Hey, you, there, in my bed. Huh? What? Ugh, you're in the wrong jail cell. This is my room. No. Jail cell number one is mine. This is only my third time in here, and I always am in number one. Oh, sorry. Did you just get taller? No, I was just squatting down, so I didn't want to make you feel as bad. But now, since you're just trying to steal my bed, I'm just going to have to beat you up. What? No. I, I, I'm I, not like a, a criminal. I, I, They said I stole two toys from the crane machine at, at Chuck E. Cheese, but I didn't do it. Really? Wow, You're a bad guy. Um, not really, because I didn't actually do it. What are you in here for, and what's your name? Hey, I'm Fred. My reason for being in here this time is that, well, I stole a pacifier from Target. Seriously? Dude, you're like 40. You don't need a pacifier anymore. No, it's for this kid that was crying in the one aisle over. I felt sorry for it, and also it was really loud. So I went to give it a pacifier. But of course, I don't know what a pacifier. Um, Fred? Are those bunny slippers? Yeah, of course they are. I'm about to go to bed, duh. Now get out of my jail cell. Um, I would, but I can't open the door. Well, then I guess you gotta sleep on the top bunk. Okay. Hope we can be friends, Fred. Don't count on it, kid. So, what, uh, boss? Why'd you want to see us in your jail cell? Well, I've got a new idea to get on out of here. Oh, boss, you're so smart. I hope this time we get out of jail for real. Yeah, so we can rob some more banks. Okay, boys. First, change my diaper. Boss, uh, I don't think...
think so, aren't you, Potty Train? Yeah, but I was just messing with ya. <laughs> Uh -oh. oh, boss, you're so funny. <laughs> well, laugh. <laughs> you're our funny boss. When I say laugh, I mean laugh. When I say break me out of jail, I mean break me out of jail. I can't believe I got put in a max security prison for all boys. Oh, I miss school. I miss my friends. I miss pizza! Mmm, this pizza is really good. Yeah, really good. Molly, are you okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Molly, you're eating ale. There's no pizza in your hand. Oh, yeah, I guess I wasn't very hungry. Molly, what's going on? I found out today on Snapchat that Luke has been sent to a max security all boys prison. What? Yeah. We can't even go visit him because we're girls. Oh, but MG, Molly, how long will they be there for? I don't know, Daisy. I I think probably 10 years for stealing those two toys from Chuck E. Cheese. What? No, five years for each toy, and the things were only worth about 50 cents. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah, but if you do the crime, you do the time. Except for Luke didn't do anything. I don't know how those toys disappeared. Maybe they just counted wrong. My friend, he's not a thief. I know, Molly, I know. But there's not much we could do. I know. Oh, this is terrible. Who's gonna play Roblox with me? I will, Molly. But you're my annoying sister. I want Lou. Yeah. Molly, I know you have a crush on him. What? Don't say that. He's just my friend and I miss him. I know, I miss him too. Breaking news, breaking news. <laughs> Little Nikki is back in prison. Oh my gosh, that guy will never stop. Yeah. And he's not even five years old yet. Think about the criminal, Sarah, that he's gonna be when he's like 15 or 20. Yeah, he's the biggest criminal we have in this town. Whoa, little Nikki is back in prison? Wait a minute. That gives me a great idea. Marley, I don't like when you have great ideas. They end up really bad ideas. If they're gonna put Luke in an all boys prison, then they're gonna have to lock me up too. Uh, Molly, you're a girl. What are you talking about? <laughs> You'll see. Molly, where are you going? <coughs> Outfit change. Molly, you're gonna get dressed up? But Luke's not even here to take you out on a date. <laughs> oh, very funny, Daisy. Hey, everybody, it's me, Molly. I'm doing this last Snapchat because I don't know if I'm going to return from this mission. But if I do, guys, you can guarantee that I'm going to have my friend Luke with me. And then he might ask me to dance, so I'm extra excited about that. Okay, guys, I hope I see you soon. Bye. <coughs> well, what do you think? Maddie, what are you wearing? <laughs> you look like little Nikki. Yeah, I'm little Nikki's twin. <laughs> this wig is awesome. Uh, Molly, I don't know if they're going to believe it. And why do you want to pretend you're his twin? Because how do they know who did the crime? Little Nikki or Molly Nikki? <laughs> I guess they wouldn't know. And that means they'd have to put you in the prison. That's right. So I get to see Luke and hopefully break him out of there. Molly, when I said that your ideas were bad ones, I really meant it. You might get locked up forever. To help my friend, it'd be worth it. Molly! Don't leave! Don't worry, Roblox wouldn't let me. It actually made me chill on the couch. <laughs> I hate when Roblox does that. Yeah, well, now I'm actually leaving. Bum bum bum! Time to use my phone to teleport. Wouldn't it be amazing if we could actually teleport in real life? <laughs> yeah. That well, would save a lot of car accidents. <laughs> All right, guys. Here we go. I'm about to save my best friend. Actually, sorry. Uh, Brookie, are you watching this? Yes? Did you just call Luke your best friend? Ow. See, I mean, you're my best friend, Brookie, and Luke is my soon-to-be <gasps> boyfriend. Yeah. Ooh la la! <coughs> Hi there! Whoa! Little Nikki, how'd you get out? Wait a minute, you're not Little Nikki. You're way too tall to be Little Nikki. Haha, <laughs> that's because I'm Little Nikki's twin! Uh -oh. Little Vicky! Little Vicky? Yeah, as in Victor, Vicky, Victor... I didn't know he had a twin brother. Wait, how are you so much taller than he is if you're twins? I 
had a growth spurt, duh. All kids grow at different rates, duh. Huh. Are you supposed to be smart, bacon hair? Actually, no, I'm kind of a noob. Uh, okay. Well, do you need to lock me up? Um, why? Because how do you know which twin actually did the crime? Oh, yeah, that's true. Have you been helping your brother rob banks? Absolutely. You have the right to remain silent. You're going to jail. Perfect. Really? You're that excited about it? Wow, you're kind of messed up. Well, you know what they say. Three hots and a cot. Place to sleep and a place to eat. Sounds good to me. Hi, Bree. Now, do you serve pizza? No. Uh-oh. Only have gruel three times a day. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll learn to love it. You'll be in cell number one. Luke! Little Nikki? Wait, did you have a growth spurt? I'm sorry. I promise I won't ever look at you the wrong way ever again. Um, yeah, um, what? I promise, don't give me any more swirlies in the toilet. Yeah. That was the worst day of my life. <laughs> oh, wow. Totally gonna have a little bit of, uh, just trauma from that one, huh? <laughs> Luke, it's not little Nikki. It's, uh, little Vicky. <laughs> Wait, there's two of you? Uh, no. Luke, it's me. I know. Oh, please. I'm, okay, I'm sleeping. Just ignore me. I'm not even here. Luke, it's me, Molly. Wait, what? What? Molly? Yeah, I'm wearing a wig and some fake muscles and this ridiculous outfit, and I don't know why I keep just... This game is so glitchy. Ah! Don't you know I'm trying to make a role play? Uh, Molly, um, can we get back to the story? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Anyway, so I'm a little Vicky, but I'm actually Molly, and I, I went undercover to get you out of here. Wait, you snuck into an all-boys prison? Are you crazy? <laughs> Only for you, Luke. Only for you. Aww. Oh, <laughs> um, that was a nice thing to say. Well, I guess we're going to get to know each other better since we're roomies now. Yeah, except for this wig is really itchy. Uh. Okay, everybody, you have the right to remain silent. Who is this clown? He's just one of little Nikki's, well, cronies. Wait, little Nikki? I didn't know you were in here. <laughs> Sorry, boss. I'll do better next time. Uh -oh. Yeah, you better. You better get me and my friend Luke out of here tonight. Okay, well, I got a job in the tools section, so... Finally, they trust me enough and don't know that I'm one of your cronies. Did you hear that, Luke? He works in the tools section at the gym. <coughs> he's going to get us out of here. I don't know. That guy's kind of, well, ignoramus. Well, it doesn't matter if he's dumb or not. He's getting us out of here. They locked the doors after 8 p.m. There's no leaving or going from the jail cells. Don't worry. I have a feeling that my crony will figure this out. Wow, you're actually kind of like little Nikki. Only cuter. Oh, even in this ugly wig. Absolutely, Molly. <laughs> that was a nice thing to say. Hey, if we get out of here, do you want to go to the dance with me? What? Um, uh... I mean, you don't have to. Yes, I'll go to the dance with you, sure! Okay, I didn't think you were going to be that excited about it. Well, I will be excited about anything if I can get out of here. Um, it's kind of bad, but I have to go to the bathroom. What? No, you're going to have to hold it! But I had a taco for lunch. Molly! Whoopsie! <laughs> uh, well, I guess we're stuck in the same room, so, um, didn't mean to gas you out. Psst! Guys, come on! I broke the lock! <laughs> Perfect, crony! Let's get out of here! You do have a way out, right? Sure do! Watch this! What? Freedom! Come on, Luke! We're out of here! Are you sure this is a good idea, Molly? Yeah! Now we have to figure out how to prove your innocence. Should we steal that police car? No, then we go back to jail for that. We just need to go to Chuck E. Cheese and try to figure out how to get you out of this. And uh, I probably should change out of this outfit, and you should change out of that one. We look pretty obvious. Uh, Luke, are you going undercover like that? Mamma mia! Boy, are you going undercover like that? Your dress is a giant burrito! I know, I was so hungry that this is what I picked, because I'm, like, really hungry. The jail doesn't even feed you. Molly, you were there for like two hours. Yeah, I know, but I was expecting they give me pizza for dinner. It's jail! 
Exactly, it's jail! You don't get fed there! They just feed you gruel, and and if you can catch a mouse, you could probably eat that. Yeah. Ew, gross! Now come on, Luke. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese and get to the bottom of this. Yeah, Molly. Hopefully we can prove my innocence. Yeah, and then we can go get bean burritos. I'm starving. Oh, Molly. You're always thinking of your stomach. Very true, very true. <laughs>
and you can have an amazing party. I won 50 tickets. And also, Brookie, Daisy, it's time for us to eat our pizza and watch the show. I hope they heard the announcement. I'm sure they did. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Holy moly. This is awesome. <gasps> There's even a birthday cake for Brookie. That is so cool. <laughs> Here you go. Here's your birthday cake. Oh no, it's not my birthday. It's my best friend's. It's your birthday. Don't lie. It's not my birthday. It's her birthday, Brookie. <laughs> You're just being silly. Don't you want birthday cake? I want you to go away because you're super annoying. Molly, don't be rude to the dog. Can't remember what character he is. All right, guys, let's eat some pizza. Mmm. Are you going to sit here the whole time? Ho, 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 ho. Probably. I love the customers. Um, okay. Well, guys, the show's about to start. Hey, Molly. What are you doing here? Oh, hey, Unicorn Princess. Nice to see you. Haven't seen you since math class. Oh, well, why are you guys at Chuck E. Cheese celebrating something special? Ho, 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 ho! Of course they are. They're celebrating Molly's birthday. What? No, no, we're not. We're celebrating Brookie's birthday. Oh, this Chuck E. Cheese has gone right downhill. Oh, well, happy birthday, Brookie. Um, I'm so glad that you're able to come to Chuck E. Cheese. Can I hang out with you guys? And my friend, too? Uh, yeah, you guys can both hang out with us. I think all the pizza's gone, though. But you can have some delicious cake from this dog. Okay, everybody, attention! The show's about to start! Hey, does anybody remember that cheeseburger being a part of the animatronic show? Oh, yeah, isn't that, um... Oh, no, I... I don't know if I remember. Oh, wait, yeah, Cheesy McCheeseburger or something? Cheesy McCheeseburger is not one of the characters. Like, you got Chucky, you got the bird thing, you got the weird the purple monster guy that looks out the corner of his eye at you, and you wonder, what is he thinking? There's the dog that plays the guitar and the chef that plays the drums. The Cheesy McCheeseburger is not an original character. It's just weird. Well, the show's about to start. Let's just see what happens. Hi there, I'm Chuck E. Cheese. Did you like your pizza? <laughs> it's the best on the planet. Oh, Chucky, you're the best on the planet. Give me a big smooch. <laughs> I don't think so. You have pepperoni breath. <laughs> well, oh, okay. All right, kiddos, let's get poppin'. I'm Chuck E. Cheese, and I'm here to say I'm the coolest mouse anyway. He's Chuck E. Cheese, and I really love him. Oh, my gosh, isn't he so cool? Molly, look at Chuck E. Um, Cheese. He keeps looking over at that cheeseburger. He doesn't trust him. Yeah. The bird girl keeps looking over there, too. Something very strange is going on here. Uh, Molly, don't look now, but that creepy cheeseburger is standing right behind you. What? I, I don't see a creepy cheeseburger. I just see a person dressed as Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, uh, Molly, she's not lying. It's right behind you. Ah! I thought you were animatronic! Are you going to say anything? Molly, I don't think it talks. Okay, well, I'm just going to go over here and sit over here. Molly, it's following you. I think it wants you to die. What? No, this is Chuck E. Cheese. What are you doing here, you imposter? This place is an amazing place for kids. Ah! Oh, my gosh. Yep, it's definitely following me. Um, Guys, do you want to get the check and get out of here? Uh, not really. It's Bookie's birthday. Besides, it's only chasing you. Oh, my gosh. Or maybe if I stand on the table, it'll just go away. Ah! Molly, is that a knife that the, the cheeseburger has? I don't know. Okay, I have an idea. I have a plan. You guys distract the hamburger. I'll be right back. For some reason, it must know that that I'm a Roblox star. And 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 it's after me because it wants my Roblox star. That, that That's all I can think of. How do I get out of here? I, I knew I came in here, but... All right, there we go. I'm going to go dress up like, well... Chucky, that ought to help me. Wait a minute, I can't get over there. But here we go. Buy access, 440 Robux! Holy guacamole! Okay, maybe if I just put on this, like, costume over here or something. Ooh, I'll pretend I work here. How do I put this on? Oh my gosh, that thing's gonna come and kill me! Perfect! 
That creepy, creepy, creepy cheeseburger won't even know who I am now. I'll just go over here and take people's orders. <laughs> Perfect. Hi, welcome to Chuck E. Cheese. I'm Molly. What can I get for you? See, my disguise is working perfectly. Oh no, here comes the creepy cheeseburger. They don't even recognize me. <laughs> but it looks like they're looking for me. Why are they after me? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And the dog's after me, too. Abandoned ship. Guys, our Chuck E. Cheese time is over. Guys? Guys? Oh, my God. My friends. They're missing. Um, guys? Brookie? Are you okay? Molly, that evil, that evil cheeseburger trapped me in this ticket blaster. I can't get out. Brookie, don't worry. I'll try to rescue you. Great idea bringing me here for my birthday, Molly. Um, okay, well, I didn't know about the evil cheeseburger, so that's not really fair. Where's, oh, God, there they are. No, no. Molly, I thought you were going to get us out of here. All you did was get stuck in here yourself. Well, let's look at it this way. We could collect some of these tickets while we're in here and play lots of free games. Yeah, if, if, if a giant cheeseburger wasn't chasing us. Uh, yeah, good point. Sorry I ruined your birthday, Brookie. That's all right. We'll figure this out somehow. If that cheeseburger ever goes away. Wait a minute, I have an idea. I could take a chomp chomp out of his head. I love cheeseburgers. Molly, I think that might make you a zombie if you try to eat the cheeseburger's brain. Good point. <laughs>100 slices.
it's not broken. Don't say that. Never say it's broken. Or they just try a different one. But I want a Koosh ball. They're so cool. All right, fine. I'll go try this one. Cool crane. Four tickets. Holy guacamole. I can afford four tickets. I have like 100 from Chuck E. Cheese. Just have to put in my card. And don't tell me this one's broken too. Okay, no, good. All right, guys. Here I go. I'm going to move the claw over. I have to drop it right at the right time. Riley, I'll help you decide when it's the right time. No! I want to decide myself. All right, guys. I want one of these. Awesome little bears with the top hats. All right, I'm dropping it. Oh, no! Oh, I didn't win. No fair. That's the way the claw crumbles. <laughs> Maybe this one will work now, too. Oh, it does. Yes! Molly, when do I get a tune? All right, after me, Daisy. Okay, here we go. I'm moving the claw. I don't think it's moving, Molly. Well, it took my ticket to better move. Yeah, no, it's moving. All right, this is exciting. So exciting! I want a koosh ball so bad! I'm dropping it. I think I might be better with this game than you. I think not, Daisy. Oh, come on! It rolled away! That wasn't fair! Molly, are you gonna keep playing this until all your tickets are gone? Yeah, pretty much. This is amazing. Alright, um, should I play this game again? Yes, I'm going to. Come on, I just need to get one of these. They're so cool. Right, I'm dropping it. Sometimes if you drop them in the corner, it works better. Because then the ball can't, like, roll away. <gasps> oh, my God. No! Oh, that's so unfair. All right. All right, I give up on that one. I'm going to go to a different one. Ooh, look at They have Kermits. They have, um, like, uh, Patrick from SpongeBob. This one looks really fun. Dizzy, are you going to try to? You're more obsessed with the claw than me, Molly, I have to say. Okay, Dizzy, go around the side of it and see if I'm in the right spot. Like, go over here and, and look. Okay, a little to the front and drop. Am I going to get, what am I going to get? Ooh, there's an Among Us toy in there, too. You could have gotten that pickle. Oh, I can't. I can't get anything, apparently. All right, let's try this one again. I'm not leaving until I get a toy. I want a toy. <laughs> Maybe if you go all the way back and over. Yeah, that, that seems like a good one. Seems like a good spot. What am I going to get? You almost had that pickle. Ay, ay, ay. This is so annoying. All right. Molly, why do you love it if it's so annoying to you? I don't know. Because I just do. The, the chances you might get a toy are like, they're like zero. Molly, do you see that weird thing coming through the wall over there? What? No. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play the game. Okay, I'm dropping it. Come on. Give me a toy. No! Molly, you're going to waste all your tickets. It's not a waste if you love the game. Guys, slam the like button if you think I can at least get one toy out of one of these crane games. Come on, guys. Believe in me, please. I, I need, like, just a little boost of confidence here because I feel like I'm not getting any toys. It's making me kind of sad. I'm wasting all my tickets. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> You're being crazy right now. All right. Let me take a try. All right. Here you go, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. You can do this. You can do this. You can do this. I'm going for it, Molly. I'm going for it. I'm telling you, I am obsessed with the crane game in real life. Now I know I can play it for free on Roblox. I've been doing this all the time. Did you get it, Daisy? Oh! Oh my gosh, Daisy, you almost got that. All right, let me try. Oh, yeah, yeah, Molly. I don't think you can. It's just going to keep taking your tickets. No! I don't understand. I'm obsessed with this. I must. Okay, Molly, you lined up, like, perfectly. Yeah, I think so. I think I can get that, like, little, like, noob or whatever he is. I don't know. Molly! Oh, you didn't get him. Oh, no. This silly game. Oh, oh. Molly, don't kick it. That's not going to help. Well, keep stealing all my tickets and, and, and it's broken. <laughs> uh, Molly, there's something really evil behind me, isn't there? Ah, it's that creepy burger guy. You think my games are dumb? Well, what do you think about this? Daisy, I think he's putting us inside the claw machine. Uh-oh, Molly. He's evil. <laughs> ah, Daisy, help. Molly, be careful. Run. Daisy, it's it's too late for me. <laughs> oh, what just happened to me? Oh, my gosh. I'm in the claw game. OMG, I'm one of the... <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, this is probably not good. And look at that claw. It's pinchy, pinchy. Ouchy, ouchy. I knew it was a bad idea to come to Chuck E. Cheese. This is making me fairly upset. I can't figure out why I have such a big head. Is it because I have such a big brain? I doubt that, Molly. Oh, very funny, Daisy. Um, look, we're not toys. We're not prizes. Let us out of here. I don't think she can hear us, Molly. And I think she wants a prize. She's obsessed with the claw, just like you are. Well, she can't get us. Look at her. She's terrible at the claw. Why are you just, like, going right there? You have to move the claw. Don't help her, Molly. We'll be her next prize. Um, yeah, that that's that's probably a bad thing, huh? Well, Molly, maybe we can find a way to escape here. I don't know, Daisy. I think the only way to escape is to be collected. Oh, no. I don't want to be someone's prize. Hey, this guy's rude. This other toy in here is, like, beating me up with a, with a baseball bat. What? Where's my baseball bat? Don't I get one? I apparently not, Molly. Just that way. <laughs> ah! Oh, no! She almost got me! The claw cannot get me, Daisy. Ah! Too late! She's collected me! Well, hopefully she's nice, Molly. Um, have a nice life. Daisy, as soon as she collects me and puts me down into that thing, I'm out of here, Daisy. I'm out of here. I, 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 I'm gonna run for it. You should get collected, too, and then you should run for it. Okay, Molly, we'll both run for it. And maybe we'll get out of here. I hope so. Is she ever gonna drop me into the, 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 like, the toy thing? Okay, we're, we're out of here, Daisy. Come on, run! Okay, I've gotta find an exit. There's gotta be one here around here somewhere. Wait, let's go this way, Daisy, this way! Oh, it's like an obby. If we get out of here, then, um, maybe we can be turned back into our normal selves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, did I just get put back into the claw game? No! Daisy? Uh, sorry, Molly, but it turns out that now I'm in charge of the claw. Daisy, no! How could you? You went over to the dark side! Evil! Well, Molly, I think maybe you're finally over you, your possession with the claw. <laughs> think again, Daisy. Think again. You can never escape the lore of the crane game! <laughs> what? What? Ooh, this crane game is so fun! You gotta keep playing! Gotta keep playing! Molly, I can't believe how much this place has changed since we were kids! I know, Luke! I can't believe we're all grown up now! Yeah, and about to have a family of our own! <laughs> By the looks of your tummy, any minute! Oh, don't tease me! You know I've been craving peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with pickles. It's not me, though. It's the baby. Sure it is. You always did like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yeah, but not with pickles. <laughs> Ew, gross. This baby wants to eat everything. Are you excited about touring her possible future nursery? I'm really excited about it, Molly. I think this could be a really good place for her to come to school. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's go meet the manager. I love you, honey. I love you too. Now come on, let's go see if this is a good fit for our baby. Hi, welcome to Twilight Daycare. You must be Molly and Luke. Um, hi. Does someone need to turn your frown upside down? <laughs> Do you want to feel my belly? My baby's probably kicking right now. Uh, no thank you, sorry. I have three teachers out sick today, so I'm feeling a little stressed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Honey, have a seat. You could have that baby at any moment. My husband is a little bit nervous about me having the baby at any second, if you couldn't tell. He's always telling me, rest! Don't get up too much! You, you need to eat more food! Oh, he sounds like a very caring husband. So, do you have any questions to start off? Yes. Are you nice? I think our teachers here are very nice. Okay, um, do you feed them snacks as well as lunch? We sure do. We feed them lots of healthy snacks. And if there's a birthday or Christmas or something, we have treats too, like cupcakes and things. Oh, that's perfect. Would you like to see some of the cool facilities we have here? Absolutely. Honey, quit jumping up and down. I'm telling you, you might give the baby a concussion. <laughs> you worry about everything, sweetie. 
Over here is where all the kids have so much fun playing with lots of different toys. And where you're going now, Molly, is the nursery where all the babies can take a night-night a, a and a nice little nap during their day. Wow. <laughs> this place is so adorable. <coughs> oh, look, honey, this is exactly what we have to look forward to. Crying babies and poopy diapers. <coughs> um, well, that sounds a little intimidating. Don't worry, Luke. I wouldn't have married you if I didn't think you were going to be the perfect dad. Aww. Well, honey, I don't know about perfect, but I'm certainly going to try to be the best dad I can. You will be, honey. You will be. Oh, thanks for saying that, honey. Hi, you're welcome. If you guys are done being lovey-dovey, I'd like to move on and show you the rest of the tour. Sure, Jenna. Sorry about that. <laughs> we're just feeling very happy these days because... My belly keeps growing every minute. Whoa, you weren't kidding. I swear, it just grew right in front of my eyes. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to run into you. Oh, my tummy is just, it's just, it's everywhere. Wow, honey, I think you might have twins. No, no, the doctor said it's going to be just one girl. Well, is she going to weigh 50 pounds? Because your belly is getting bigger and bigger. I hope not. 50 pounds would be probably the biggest baby ever born. Oh, we weren't going to come into the kitchen or anything. I know you weren't going to come into the kitchen, but I was. These cookies look delicious. Honey, you need to eat cookies right now. This baby is telling me it's starving. So yes, yes, I do need a cookie. Uh-oh, ran into the cookie jar with my gut. <laughs> my belly is so huge. Like, seriously, I can't even reach for the cookies. Like, look at me. Uh, my stomach's in the way. I can't reach the cookies. <laughs> Honey, didn't you want to take the daycare scooter? No, no. <sighs> Running's good for me. Keeps me in good shape. <laughs> My baby's going to be born super athletic. Honey, uh, you just won't rest, will you? Nah, although I am out of breath. This stomach of mine, whew, it's a lot to carry around. Wow, look at this place. They never had a fun house where we went to school. Yes, the kids love this place more than anything. It's their favorite place to come on recess. I can see why. Well, let's go inside. Holy macaroni and cheese. This place is amazing. I gotta look around. Oh, oh, oh. Honey, be careful. You know the baby. Yes, yes, I know the baby, the baby. Whee! The baby's having so much fun in my tummy right now. <laughs> I gotta do that again. That was so much fun. Come on, Luke! It's like when we were kids! Oh, I landed on my tummy! Ugh. I'm telling you, she's gonna give our baby a concussion. I think your baby will be okay. It's all right, Luke. Look at these trampolines! They make it fly in the air! Whoa! Whoa! Honey, I don't think all that bouncing around is good for the baby. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine! Whoa! Honey, are you okay? It's the baby. I, I think she's coming. What? Are, are you serious? I told you not to jump on that trampoline. No, no, no. I think it's okay, but I think I'm, I'm going to have the baby. What are we going to do? The hospital that we picked is like 45 minutes away. Don't worry. We have a hospital here at Twilight Daycare. What? Seriously? You do? Well, by the looks of it, we need to rush my wife there right away. Yeah. Oh, this baby's coming out. Whether we're ready or not. Uh -oh. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Are you ready to have some fun? No, my wife's going to have going to. She's going to have a baby. That's what I meant to say. We don't have any time for hanging out here anymore. Oh, man. I really want to hang out with that unicorn mom, though, and, and play in the ball pit. That looks like so much fun. Molly, seriously. You're going to have a baby. Get serious. Okay, okay. I'm serious. For reals. I'm being serious. Oh. <sighs> No, look at my face. I'm I'm being really serious. Molly, you don't look serious. You look like you're still dreaming about going into that ball pit. Okay, just one more time. Molly! Okay, okay, let's go have this baby. Jeez. <sighs> Ow, I ran through the door! I'm too fat to get in. My belly's too big. Ugh, push me through. Okay, you're fine, Molly. You're in. Oh, look, look, there's the hospital. No one's working. Guess I'm not having this baby. Molly, are you afraid to have your baby? No, I'm just, I would rather hang out at the fun house. It looks so cool. Let's go back. Hi! 
I'm Daphne, and I'm a doctor here. What can I do for you? My wife, she's she's going into labor. Correction, I'm already in labor. Holy guacamole. Okay, I just need you to fill out these 50 papers, please. What? We don't have time for that. She's about to have this baby. Well, I know, but protocol is protocol. Please fill them out. Um, 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 I'll fill them out, honey. You go have the baby. Okay, meet you in there. Now, where is the maternity ward? Oh, found it! Why do they know my teachers need to know my teacher's name from first grade? That doesn't even make any sense! Everybody stop talking! Ah, I'm gonna have a baby! Wow, your tummy is impressively big. She's been eating a lot of peanut butter and jelly and pickle sandwiches. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we hear that a lot here. Okay, honey, well, now I just need you to... Push, Molly! Congratulations, Molly. It's a beautiful baby girl. But I'm wondering if you have another baby in there. <gasps> no, no, no. That's just the way my stomach is normally from eating too many peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> I really should start working out on the treadmill more. Where's my baby? We're going to take her to the nursery and check her out. We'll bring her back as soon as we determine if she's healthy. Honey, you did it. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I can't wait to meet our little girl. I bet she's going to be amazing. Well, as soon as you're rested a little, we could go in and see her. I would love that. Attention, attention, baby nursery. The Acker family would like their baby brought into their room, please. Please bring in the baby Acker to the Acker family. Thank you. Oh no, I've got so many babies in beds right now that I have two extras that I don't even have beds for. Uh, which one was the baby Acker baby? They look exactly the same. Oh no, I'm gonna get fired. I just know I'm gonna bring them the wrong baby. Well, they won't know, right? I mean, <laughs> this looks like the right baby, right? I think. I uh oh! La la la, la la la. Here's your little girl. Have you decided what you're gonna name her? Whoa! Are you about to have another baby, Molly? Ah, uh, no. They just came and served us pie, cake, all this delicious food. So, I was really hungry. I don't eat a lot. <laughs> this is my ate too much belly. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Um, well, here's your little girl. What are you going to name her? We've decided to name her Maggie. Oh, that's an adorable name. Oh, thank you. Um, but. Wait, are, are you sure that one's ours? <laughs> You're so funny, Luke. Of course it's your baby. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Does she even have blonde hair? Oh, no. None of the newborns have a lot of hair yet. <laughs> you won't be able to tell that till much later when I'm no longer working here. Uh -oh. Okay, here's your baby. Aw, she's so adorable. Oh. She's not even crying or anything. That's so unlike me. <laughs> well, maybe she takes after me more, Molly. You never know. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hi, Lucy. Uh, I just came back from work because my sweet little Maggie forgot her lunch. She never does that. Oh, I wanted to talk to you, Molly. You did? Has everything been okay? Is my baby okay? <gasps> she is so sweet and kind. It's almost like she's perfect. Wait, what? Uh, that doesn't sound like a kid of mine. But you are right. She is practically an angel. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Mommy. Oh, are you sad? I just need to go potty and I'm super hungry and thirsty. Well, why didn't you tell the caretaker? I didn't want to bother anybody. Oh, honey, that's really sweet, but you don't have to be that sweet all the time. I really do. I, I don't like... I don't like to bother anybody. I just, I just mind my own business. I'm, you're way too perfect to be my kid, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whose kid is that? They're shooting paintballs at the TV. Oh yeah, that's Hannah. She's our little baby child. Hannah? Whoa, Hannah, you look just like me when I was little. Like identically. What do you want, old lady? <laughs> I'm going to 
shoot you with a paintball next. Whoa. Hannah acts just like me. Wait a minute. She looks like me? <gasps> she acts like me? Hey. I, 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 I can't believe it. What is it, Mrs. Acker? Is everything okay? I don't think so. Why? What's going on? And why are you hanging out with Hannah? Everybody knows she's the troublemaker. Uh-oh. Because I think Hannah might actually be my daughter. Wait, what? Have you gone bonkers? Did you get a bonk on your head? <laughs> Listen, lady, I'm no kid of yours. Actually, that's exactly what I would have said when I was her age. I was basically a little demon child. And, well, Maggie doesn't look anything like me or my husband. Nor does she act like either of us. Hmm. That sounds like you've got a bonk on your head and have gone crazy. But, but I'm pretty sure that Hannah is actually my daughter. <sighs> Seriously, I'm going to call the doctor for you. Go on in. He's going to check out your head. What? No, I'm telling you the truth. I don't think you're my mom, lady. You're crazy. Why won't anybody listen to me? She really is my daughter. I know it. I can sense it. She's just like me. She looks just like me. I'm going to have to call the police if you don't calm down. Ah! Okay, class. Okay, everyone settle down. I know there's frogs on your desk, but trust me, they're not going to bite. Now, where's Molly? Is she late again? Oh, I don't want to have to give her detention. I'm not late. I'm not late. I swear it. I'm not. Molly, I saved you a seat. Come on, sit down. La, 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 la. Oops, I didn't mean to close the curtains. Uh, I just want to sit down in my seat. Oh, wow. Look at these frogs. I know. They're kind of cute, right? Um, Yeah, they're pretty cute. Um, But are they going to bite me? I just got done telling the class no one's frog is going to bite them. Ew, frogs are like so gross and boring. Yeah. I'd rather read my, read my fashion magazine and pretend this wasn't happening. Sarah, please put the magazine away. Brookie, I'm Molly. Please stop talking. Oh, guys, this is the same stuff I tell you every single day in class. Why aren't you listening? All right, so Molly, I'd like you to go to the board, please, and answer number five from your workbook. Workbook? Workbook? What's a workbook? Uh-oh. She's not going to be very happy if you're playing dumb. I don't, I don't know what a workbook is, Mrs. Griffin. Molly, quit goofing around. You're being ridiculous, and I don't want to have to give you another detention. And I'll call your mom. <laughs> no, seriously. I have amnesia. I can't remember anything. Um, Molly, I don't think she's falling for that. You probably should go to the board. Oh, no. I didn't answer this question. I don't know what the answer is. Well, Molly, um, do your best guess, I guess. Um, duh, uh, <laughs> this looks super hard. Molly, did you actually do your homework last night? Um, well, uh, Molly, sorry. I had soccer practice, and then I came home, and I had to play this new Roblox game because it was amazing, and Molly, ugh. I don't even know what to do with you anymore. I mean, I've given you enough detentions. You think you'd get the hint. My job is so hard. I think I'm just going to quit and move to a deserted island where no one can bother me. And I can eat pizza all day. <laughs> You're so funny, Mrs. Griffin. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Well, they don't grow pepperoni or cheese. <laughs> on an island. Ugh, I can't believe I'm in this class with these ignoramuses. Whatever, Sarah. You don't know anything about pizza. I know everything about pizza. Besides, Mrs. Griffin, what's so hard about your job? Ah, uh, you just have to sit at a desk and teach kids all day. It's not that bad. <gasps> oh, really? You don't think so? Okay, why don't you teach the class today since you think it's so easy? <laughs> really? Um, eh, uh, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Uh -oh. oh, no, 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 no. You wanted this, so you get to do it, or else you're going to fail science for the year. Good luck. I'm out of here. Where have you been, loser? 
I had my gifted class this morning. It was amazing. We learned so much science. Why is Molly up at the desk, Sarah? And where's Mrs. Griffith? Oh, so glad you could join us and finally see the drama that's unfolding in front of our eyes. What drama? Mrs. Griffin, like, pretty much quit and made Molly become the teacher. Wait, what? Okay, class, everybody be quiet. I'm in charge now. <laughs> oh, God, we're all doomed. <laughs> I'm going to be a great teacher. You just wait and see. Okay, let's just look at Mrs. Griffin's lesson plan. I can copy off hers for at least today, right? I hope. I think. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Uh, take out your textbooks to page 45. And we're going to be learning about the anatomy of these gorgeous and slimy frogs that are currently on your desk. It says here that Frogs are a member of a diverse and largely carnivorous group of short-bodied, tailless amphibians. And that, wait a minute, most frogs have a so, s small number of them have front teeth. Uh, but, but, I'm, wait, I'm just shocked right now. Most frogs have a small number of teeth in their upper jaws. Holy guacamole, no more English, no more math. No more crazy quantum sciencey blah 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 blah. Throwing it all in the trash. Wait, what? We are going to do school Molly's way. <laughs> and in this school, everybody passes, no matter what. Because how can you fail Molly school? Well, except for you, Daisy, you might fail Molly school. Well, why? Because you're an overachiever. And in Molly school, you're an underachiever. Watch my very first lesson. First things first, lay on the ground. Take a nap if you even want to. The teacher's very boring, don't you know? So there's your first lesson, everybody. I want to see you laying down, being lazy. This is graded, so try your hardest or your least hardest. School is so boring. Ugh, I just need to be lazy. Great job, Brookie. 96% on your laziness. Ugh, whatever. Okay, I'm at Molly's school. This is boring. Ugh. Um, Sarah, you could have put in a little bit more effort than that, but I'm still going to give you an 85 because you did pretty good. Sarah? Sarah? Wow, her grade just went up to 100. She actually fell asleep. Oh, wow, Sarah, you're amazing. Yeah, being lazy is not that hard. Daisy? I can't do it. Uh-oh. Daisy. Never give up and never surrender. You can do anything. <sighs> All right. I'll try. This feels so wrong, but here we go. Daisy, great job. One. Two. Daisy, are you doing sit-ups? What are you doing? No, no, that's not the point. Being lazy is the point. Well, I just thought while I'm laying on the floor, I can make that work for me by getting better abs and be healthier. Daisy, you get an F. Wait, what? Why? Because, Daisy, I'm exhausted just looking at you. The, the, the whole point was to be lazy. Well, then I guess I fail Molly's class because I'm not lazy. This is who I am. <laughs> I can totally tell. All right, for the next test, eating in class. Who brought something delicious? I, I brought a chicken sandwich with cheese. Oh, it's so good. I got it from Chick-fil-A. Should I eat it? Will that make me pass? <laughs> no, the food's not for you. It's for me. Now, everybody bring up your lunches up here if you want to pass. Molly, you are the worst teacher in the... Shh. Daisy, no one asked you. This is Molly's world, and I'm going to eat all of your lunches. <laughs> Someone threw the baby! Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, Molly, you're so crazy. I'm so adorable. Look at me. I'm a little bald baby. Look at my, look at my diaper. Ew, Molly with poo poo in her diaper. Well, I'm a baby. That's what I do. Look how I run. I'm so adorbs. 
Whoa, you can like fly in this game. Anyway, Malia, you can just start this video. Oh, I already did. I think it's amazing. Like, look at us. We look so adorable. Aww. Anyway, guys, this game is crazy. That's right. I didn't make this game, guys. I'm just playing it because it's funny and looks adorable um, and a little bit crazy because it's called Bake Da Baby. Wait, you're going to try to bake us in the oven like Hansel and Gretel style? <gasps> uh, pretty much. We have to avoid the chefs and don't get baked as the baby in the oven. Oh, boy. This sounds crazy. All right, guys, you guys can dress up your character, um, your little baby, as anything you want. <laughs> you can't even dress it up as a skinny toilet. Oh my gosh, I can't even right now. Um, some of these are ridiculous. Just saying, is this like the Taylor Swift one? I, I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be. It's just, wait, what? Chicken Nugget Baby? <laughs> Michael Jackson, baby! Ah, that's so creepy! Okay, I'm, I think I might be done looking at those. I'm adorable! I'm traffic oh. car, baby. I'm plain old, don't have any Robux, baby. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? Um, uh, not really, Molly. Buy some Robux. It's a sad, sad day when you don't have any Robux to play and you have to be bald. And it's not your fault because your mom won't give you any more money. Uh, Maddie, that was just weird. Just saying! I might have a smile on my face, but in real life... Gosh, it really does sound like a baby. Whoa! Burger Place, Rooftop Cafe. I'm picking Burger Place because it's medium and I've never played this game before, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing, okay? Oh my god! Daisy's a chef and she's gonna put me in the oven! Are you serious right now? Daisy! What? Daisy! <laughs> Well, you lost a round. Oh Ow. my god, this is so terrible. Okay, wait a minute. Now I'm a chef. Oh, I'm sorry about this baby. I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, how do I pick them up? Find babies and put them in the oven. Duh. I still gotta figure out how to pick them up though. Get back here, little baby. Oh, they closed the door on me. Seriously? I see you. Where are you, little baby? There you are. Ah. You're a sneaky little one. Gotcha! Oh, wait. Gotta press E. I gotta get him. I gotta get him. Get back here. Get back here! <laughs> ah! Got you! <laughs> now, where is this oven? No, please! Don't me! Sorry, I have to do this, but... Um, wait. Where'd my little baby go? Did it, the baby just bite me? Wait, what? He got away, you little stinker. Get back here! Ah! <laughs> we had one baby that got away. Oh gosh, Daisy is actually a chef again. And oh, ow, ow, stop, stop it! Can I bite them or something? Okay, I don't know what to do, guys. I'm trying to escape. Oh man, I keep getting cooked. This isn't good. This is not good at all. <laughs> I shall get you, baby. You will be cooked in the oven. Wow, Molly, crazy talk. I know, right? That person stole my baby, and I'm just saying, look, I don't think that's very nice. Why is she stealing all the babies? Wow, we won the round already? Oh, my guacamole. Okay, now I'm a baby. Ah, I just want to escape. All right, guys, I'm looking for a good place to hide. Oh, someone got me already. Are you serious? It's so hard to win this. Let go of me. I'm gonna put my pants. Ah! What are you gonna do? Ah, ha, 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 ha. That made him drop me because he was like, ew, gross. Yeah. Don't put me down. Okay, I'm trying to jump again, guys. <gasps> but I didn't. Bam, bam, bam. Get put in the oven because I escaped. Do not enter. Um, oh God. Oh God. Ah, I'm stuck in here with him. Let me out. <laughs> this game is ridiculous. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not getting in that oven. I'm not, I'm not, get me out of here. Oh, man, guys. I'm one big dead baby. Oh, that baby got big. Do, 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 do. <coughs> now I have to go get some babies. Oh, this baby is like trying to escape. Give me it. Give me it. Whoa, she was a totally beautiful chef. Did you see her, guys? Come here, you. 
Wait, I think this is where the... Wait, where's the ovens? Um... Ow! Guys, it would be helpful if I knew where the ovens were. Look, I think when that happens, the baby actually bites you. You see that mouth come up? OMG, this baby is so fast. Get back here! I want to cook you in the oven right now. Oh, Carl Faceless 73 just keeps winning every single round. Seriously? And then look, this person just gets me right off the bat. Uh, you lost. No kidding. I could have told you guys that. This is so fun though. I'm having a blast. I just don't know what I'm really doing. Well, that's your everyday life, Molly. Oh, ha ha ha, Daisy. All right, guys, this time I'm going to win around, and I'm not going to give up. I'll never give up and never surrender, because I can do anything. If you put your mind to it, do, 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 you can do it. Well, I think you can, Molly. It's the verdict is still out. Oh, very funny, Daisy. Very funny. Okay, this time, guys, I picked Mama Overseas, and holy macaroni. They could just dive overboard, I guess. Ah! Get over here. I need to put you in the oven. I gotta put you in the oven. Come here, kid. This is for your own good. You need, I need to make you into cookies. I'm like right on them. Get back here, get back here, get back here. Oh, they went through something I can't fit through. I'm too big, no fair. Ah! Okay, I'm still chasing after them. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Oh, I could have got them right there. Got you! <laughs> Where's the nearest oven? Microwave in use! Ha 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 Oh, Molly, you cooked me! Wait, what? That was you? Yeah, it was me. How rude! Okay, I'm gonna try to bite you, Daisy. I'm not even kidding. Do not put me in that microwave! Ha 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 ha! I ran into the wall. Get away from me, Daisy! You psycho! Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I fell overboard. Womp, 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 womp. Time to bake you up, Star Cake 44. Sorry about this, but um, it's called Baked a Baby, and I gotta bake you. Wait, get over here. Ow! Oh, that baby just bit me. What a rude baby. Oh, man, they got cooked. <laughs> yep, Molly, they do. Uh oh. Here we go again. Daisy, here I come for you. Daisy's a baby, and I'm a chef, so I've got to catch her. Where'd she go? She's very sneaky, this one. This other chef is just standing there while I do all the work. Rude! Oh, Daisy, where are you? All right, guys, she is hiding so good. I don't even know where she is right now. Wait, I see somebody. Oh, it's the other person. Oh, they're like, I'm a fan! That's why they were just standing there. Because they, they didn't know what to say. They were starstruck by me. Oh, I bet, Molly. No, seriously. They said they were a big fan. Hi. Help me find this baby, okay? I want to talk to you, but I'm I'm too busy. Ah! Daisy is like doing a happy dance. Ah, I hate when I start over here because I don't know where I'm going. Ba -ba 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 -da -da. Do not enter. Oh, no. Oh, no. She, she got the Star Squad fan. She's going to put him in the oven. D Daisy! <laughs> Molly's getting cooked. God, I fell down the stairs. Oh, oh, my gosh. That was seriously ridiculous. No, get away from me. Run! Daisy, help. I got put in the oven. Daisy, I'm being cooked. Hold on, Molly. I'll try to rescue you. I mean, I'll try, but no promises. Oh, Daisy, you got in the oven too. You know, this game is very hard. Yeah, um, now we're chefs and we have to cook these babies. Cook that baby. Wait, is there an oven right here? Uh oh, sorry about this. Oh, <laughs> I cooked that baby. Um, guys, I don't see any other babies. <gasps> Wait, there's one. Ooh. Daisy just got one. That's right. Time to become crunchy little babies. Wow, that's evil. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, guys, I just swam into the ocean. <laughs> Good thing I'm still here. Look where I'm hiding, guys. <laughs> that's a great hiding spot, Daisy. 
Do you think anybody's gonna catch you in there? I'm not really sure, but I'm hoping not. Well, I'm dead for like ever looked a big X over my face. It's like, really? Wow. Harsh! All right, guys, Daisy is still alive. Don't tell the chefs where she is, though, guys. See where she is? All right, I'm zooming in so you guys can see. <gasps> There's a chef right outside the door. Daisy, be careful. <gasps> oh, God, Daisy! Run! I'm waddling just as fast as I can. Diving behind this plant. Oh, waddle faster, Daisy. She's right behind you. Go, go, go! Oh, the oh no, Daisy! Oh, they cooked her. Oh, no. Okay, wait, guys. I'm the chef again, and here's this baby already that I have to cook, and I feel so bad about it, but, you know, it is the way it is. One round. Wow. We, we cooked those babies fast, man. Wow. I don't, I don't really know, like, what you could do. Ah! Wait, what? That person came out of nowhere. They're like a ghost. Um, I'm being cooked. Yeah, Molly, we all are. Uh, we're doomed. We're doomed right now. Uh, someone got caught. Hey, over here! We're in the oven! Oh, I'm getting redder and redder. I can see my life flashing before me. I'm going to turn into a pumpkin pie in three, two, one. Crispy! Molly, we totally lost that wound. Yep, we totally did. <laughs> Oops. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching us play Bake Da Baby today. Wow. It was really fun, actually. I had a good time. And maybe next time I'll be even better. But, you know, probably not. Yeah, I loved it too. But I got caught, like, so many times. <laughs> so didn't I. I got... This baby got baked. Seriously. Over and over and over again. Oh my guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And slam that like button, guys. Please, 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 please. It just helps our channel so much when you slam that like button. We love Aww. you guys. You're our favorite fans in the whole world. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! <laughs>
It was probably just Sarah the bully or something being totally mean to us. Don't worry about a thing. Now, go take your shower before Brookie gets here. You don't want to be smelly, do you? <laughs> I'm never smelly. You're the one that doesn't ever take a shower, Molly. I take a shower, like once a week, if I really need it. <laughs> oh, Brookie! <laughs> I'm so excited to see my best friend. Hey, Molly, are you ready for the sleepover? Sure am. Huh. It was a little bit crazy, though, before you got here. What were you talking about? Well, somebody, like, used your number to call me and prank me. Wait, what? Are you serious? Yeah, and they have a really creepy voice and stuff, but I'm just sure it's, like, Sarah the bully from school or something. Oh, that is creepy. Well, come on, let's go work on that math homework. Yeah, and then I have a new scary movie I want to watch. How about you? I don't know, a scary movie? Especially after a creepy call? It's gonna be fine, Brookie. I'm sure it was just somebody from school pranking us. Now come on, let's go work on that math homework so we can get it over with. Homework is not my favorite thing. Me either, Molly. So I think for number five, the answer should be 236. What do you think, Brookie? Well, uh, that's what I got too, so I'm thinking that must be the right answer. Okay, cool. Uh, so we just have, like, two more problems to go. Should I make some popcorn? I'm starting to get really hungry. Hey, guys! Um, are you guys ready to, um, watch a movie or something? Well, we do still have two more problems of our homework to go, but I suppose we could do it in study hall tomorrow before class. I really want to watch this scary movie. Me too. Really? You really do? Yeah, you convinced me, Molly. I'm sure that was just a prank call. Nothing creepy or anything like that. It did sound creepy. Wait, you got the prank call too? Yeah, I got it. Was it from my number? No, it was from Molly's number. Are you sure Molly wasn't pranking us the whole time? She could be. You just never know with Molly sometimes. Eat the popcorn, guys. It looks super delicious. Oh, man, you made it extra buttery. My favorite. I'm just going to sit over here and uh, eat the whole thing. Molly, give us some. <laughs> All right, I'll get you guys a bowl so you can have some too. Whoa, Molly, don't enter the house at midnight. This new movie looks so scary. Yeah, it totally does. I'm going to take a Snapchat of us um, watching this scary movie. Okay, everybody get behind Brookie so we can do a Snapchat. Uh, Daisy, are you coming? Yeah, I was just still eating some of my popcorn and I didn't want popcorn corners in my teeth. <laughs> Alright everybody, um, tell us, tell everybody what you're doing. I'm eating delicious buttery popcorn with my best friend and my annoying sister and we're about to watch a new movie. Molly, it's a scary movie and um, we're pretty excited about it, especially since we got a prank call tonight. Yeah, you guys, that was so crazy and creepy. All right, well, that's the end of our snap. Okay, let's watch the movie. Actually, first I'm gonna go upstairs and go to the bathroom, okay? Um, Because I drank way too much soda. Oh, I got our snap. Oh, look at us. We look adorable. I love it. Oh my gosh, my phone is buzzing. Well, maybe Bookie's out of toilet paper or something. You don't ever change the toilet paper roll, Molly. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it is. What? It's a Snapchat from outside our house. It just says, he, 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 he. Like, it's in the backyard. What? That's creepy, Molly. Our backyard is completely fenced with like an eight foot tall fence. Who could that be? Um, I don't know. Stay away from the windows, Molly. I don't want you to see something creepy. Well, I don't know if I should call 911 or what. What? What's going on, guys? I just got a snap just sent specifically to me and it said like ha 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 and it was from our backyard and it was a picture of like a snap of like me and Daisy from outside. What? That's so creepy. Do you think this has anything to do with it with the phone call you got earlier? Um, I, I don't know. I, I don't think so. How'd they get in our backyard? It's totally creepy. Well, I mean, if you call the police, you couldn't really say anything because I don't see anyone in your backyard. Let's just ignore it happened and watch the movie. What? Whoa. I just got another snap, Molly, and you're not going to like it. What? Why? What is it? Do you like scary movies? Ah, that's exactly what the person on the phone said. And it looks like they took a picture.
two of us for the fun of the house. Oh, M. G. Oh my gosh, my phone is ringing. Should I answer it? Um, maybe it's your mom. That would be a good thing if it was your mom. Yeah, answer it, Blakey. You definitely should. Okay. Um, uh, hello? Do you like scary movies? Oh my god, guys. It's him. Um, who are you and why are you pranking us? Yeah, good question, Bricky. Good question. <laughs> I see you. Ah, uh, I, uh, uh, where do you see us? Ask him that. Where do you see us? I'm right outside your house. <laughs> now tell me, what's your favorite scary movie? I don't like scary movies. I changed my mind. Tell him we only like to watch Coco Ballet or Blippi or, um, you know, something like that. Something really fun. No scary movies here. Nope, nope, nope. We don't like scary <sighs> movies. You don't? <laughs> I think you're watching one right now. Um, well, then you're not looking good because we turned the TV off like five minutes ago there, genius. Who's that? Put her on the phone. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> got nowhere to go. I'm outside your house. Brookie, hang up the phone. Hang it up. Um, goodbye. You're being really rude. What are we gonna do? Um, we're gonna go upstairs and lock the door. Come on! Alright, guys, which room would be the safest? Probably the one with the least amount of windows. This one seems the safest. Okay, okay, okay. Molly, don't lock me out. What are you doing? Sorry about that. Okay. Um, see if we can see him down below. I, I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> Dizzy, quit closing the curtains. I can't see anything. I don't want him to see us either, Molly. Okay, well, so far I don't see him anywhere. So I think that's probably a good thing. Huh. <sighs> are we safe? I don't know who that guy is, but... Maybe we should call 911. Good idea. I'm calling the police. Are they answering, Molly? It's still ringing. 911? What's your emergency? There's this creepy guy. He's outside our windows. Or outside our house, I mean. And and he Frank called us and then he was taking pictures on Snapchat outside our house. And 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 I I I'm just freaking out because I think he might be a crazy psycho. And can you send a police officer over like right away? It's me, my sister, and my friend that are here. So you need a police officer? Uh, yeah. Right away. I have a question for you before I send a police officer out. Okay. W -w 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 what is it? Do you like scary movies? Ha! Ah! Oh my god! How did you get- How did you get on this phone line? <laughs> I hacked it. I know which room you're in. <laughs> oh, you're all in trouble now. Okay, I have a plan. My mom has an iPad in the other room. I bet he doesn't have any hacked access to that. Yeah, Molly, it is a super old iPad. He wouldn't even know about it. Well, one of us needs to be brave enough to go in there. Uh, uh, I'll do it, guys. Uh, it's the least I can do. I mean, because you guys are my best friends. Brookie, no! I have to, guys. It's it's for the good of us all. Okay, Brookie. We'll just get the iPad and run right back here, okay? Good luck, Brookie. Stay safe. What? I got another Snapchat? Oh, no. This can't be good. Wait. What is that? It's, it's, it's a picture of us from the, 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 the room that we're in. What? Where's that iPad? I need to find it really fast and then go back and be with Molly and Daisy. I'm afraid to be in here by myself. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, think. Where would I put an old iPad and a charger for it too? Maybe it's in the nightstand. I don't know. I mean... <laughs> what? 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 Who are you? Ah! Ah! Oh my god. I tried to hide in the crib, but he still sees me. <laughs> Why does Laura have a baseball bat next to her bed? Oh well, I don't care. It's time to, well, meet your doom, you evil thing, whatever. Who, what are you, a monster, like a demon? <laughs> you can't take me down. I can't be killed. 
Well, I wasn't planning on that, but I'm pretty sure this baseball bat upside your kneecap's gonna feel pretty good. You can't take me. Oh, that hurt! Yeah, right. I can't take you down. Try messing with Brookie Cookie ever again. <laughs> Daisy, what was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like a fight in the other room. Do you think that that guy got in and, and, and got Brookie? Our best friend? What would we do if something ever happened to her? I don't know, Molly, but we have to go try to rescue her. Okay, we have to be brave. What? There's the killer! Brookie, what are you doing? Well, I totally hit him with a baseball bat. <laughs> he didn't like that very much. And now I'm taking a Snapchat to show everybody this creepy guy who is obviously going to prison now. I just wanted to... I... I... I wanted to know if you liked scary movies. Um, well, uh, <laughs> Brookie, that snap is awesome. Okay, let's read some text. Some, I'm going to text it on it. Wait, I want to take a Snapchat and send it. <laughs> Look at this, guys. We captured this guy. And we're going to call the police. Oh, let's, like, let's give him a funny face. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Well, that's too funny. Let's give him a rainbow face. La 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 la! <laughs> Ghostface, what do you think of that, huh? Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. Let's send this to everybody. <laughs> I can't believe you kids are such brats. Do, 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 do. So, Ghostface, this is the end of you. Here's some daisies for you. I wonder if this ever happens to Jason, Freddy, Chucky. Just chilling out. Oh, it's been such a long day. Marty! Oh, there you are, Marty. Hey, do you want to go down to the Book Haven ice cream shop with me? What? The ice cream shop? Of course I do. That sounds delicious. I'm going to get... Mm, uh, uh, knock, knock. Is anyone home? Oh, my gosh. This day just keeps getting better. My best friend's here. Hey, Brookie. Hey, guys. What's up? I just came over to see if you wanted to hang out. Totally. Let's hang out. At the ice cream shop, of course. Yeah, we were just about to leave for some ice cream. Oh, um, yeah, could we just hang out here? What? Why? Brookie, why are you so sad? Uh, I can't go for ice cream. Why not? Ice cream's delicious. Are you lactose intolerant? Yeah, sometimes uh, eating dairy makes me... <laughs> Molly, rude! <laughs> sometimes cupcakes does it to me, too. And occasionally when I eat beans. Oh, Molly, that's stinky. Oh, Brookie, maybe we should go without Molly. Actually, you two go. Um, I'll just, I'll wait here till you get back. Brookie, what is going on? Why don't you want to get ice cream with us? Yeah, Brookie, why? Um, okay, I, I can't afford to go. I don't have any money. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? We'll buy your ice cream. You will? Really? You guys don't have to do that. I don't want you to spend your money on me. No, it's fine. We want you to come along. And we want you to have a delicious ice cream cone, too. So, come on, let's all go together. Okay, if, if you really don't mind. Wow, Brookie, <laughs> you beat me here. <laughs> you must be pretty excited about the ice cream. I haven't gotten ice cream all summer. I'm poor. I don't have any money. But I love ice cream. Well, get two scoops on me, then. Mm, I'm having my favorite mint chocolate chip. What are you going to have, Brookie? Where's Daisy? She's so slow. I'm coming! I'm coming! Rookie, I have the slowest sister on the planet. Well, she did say that she was just a little tired today. Nothing some ice cream won't fix, right, Rookie? What kind did you get? Um, I got this blue kind. I'm not sure what kind it is yet, though. Um, that's bubblegum, Rookie. Ooh, bubblegum! That's super crazy! I got birthday cake! <sighs> yeah, it took me a long time to get here. I noticed! Mm. Two scoops of ice cream. You guys are the nicest for buying me ice cream. I don't know what I'd do without my best friends. Probably be at home without any ice cream. <laughs> but lucky for you, we have lots of money. Well, we don't have a lot, a lot of money, but we have enough to buy you ice cream. I have no money. So sick of being poor. Well, money isn't everything. Yeah, Blookie. 
Sure feels like it when you don't have any. Can't do anything fun. Can't go on school trips. Can't get ice cream. It's just plain, well, awful. Well, today you can have ice cream with us. Mmm, and that's good. Uh, are you guys ready? I, I, I think I should be heading home now. Sure, we could go if you want to. Let's go. Come on, Brookie. I'll race you home. <laughs> Last one to the street is a rotten egg. Brookie, are you coming? Are you, oh, you're so slow. Come on, Brookie. Molly, don't be mean to Brookie. Yeah, Molly, don't be mean to me. Besides, you're the one that I'm leaving in the dust. Only because I turned around to see where you were. Molly, I am so sick of being poor. Well, I'm sorry, Brookie, but it sounds like maybe it's just the way it is for you. Maybe. Ugh, I just want to have a nice house like this one. Whoa. It looks like you have a pretty good imagination because this house is like a million dollars. I know, but I just really love it. Maybe someday when you're a grown up, you can have this house. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Molly. Bye! Molly, what are you doing right now? It's almost time for class. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually studying. What? No, you're not. You're probably on YouTube. No, for reals. I'm actually studying for the math test. Holy guacamole! Feel the earth move! Molly is actually studying! Who's that? Holy guacamole! That's the coolest car I've ever seen! What car, Molly? I don't see a car. That's because you're turned around backwards, Daisy. <laughs> you have to be looking outside. Whatever, Molly! I was concentrating on... On the... On the... Wall? Okay, Daisy, you might not be awake yet. Do you need some coffee? I kinda do, Molly. I kinda do. Holy guacamole! Brookie? What, what are you... Are you... Are you wearing Louis Vuitton? Yeah? <laughs> sure, of course I am. Whoa, and is that your car? Yeah, <laughs> it's brand new. Do you guys like it? Uh, yeah! Holy guacamole! It even says her name on the front of it. Oh, wow. I love your new car! Thanks. Well, we better get to math class. We don't want to be late or we'll fail our test. But I have so many qu- Okay. I guess I'll have to ask her the questions later. You can't ask questions during the math test, Molly. Well, it wasn't about the math test. It was about how did she afford all that? Molly, that's rude. Don't ask people about their money. Where's the teacher? Ha ha ha! There's no teacher. No math test. Mmm, this Coca-Cola is really good. Molly, where's your lunch? Well, I sort of spent all of our money at the ice cream shop yesterday. Oopsie. Oh, <laughs> hey guys, no worries. I can totally buy you lunch. Wait, what? You couldn't even afford an ice cream cone yesterday. Now you have a new car and new clothes and you have money for buying our school lunch? What is going on right now? Um, yeah, I'm cool. Look at all this cash. Now, what do you guys want? Um, I'd like some pizza, please. And a drink and some Doritos. Molly, cheapos, you're eating everything. Uh, yeah, that's sort of a plan. Mmm, that's pretty good. Cheapos, creepos, thanks, Bookie. That was really nice of you. Don't mention it, guys. Mmm, what am I gonna have for lunch? Mm, I think maybe I'm gonna have pizza, too. Yeah, it's definitely a good choice. Pizza's good today. Mmm. Sometimes school lunch tastes like it came straight out of a dumpster. But not today. I can tell they ordered this from a local pizza shop. It was really good, Molly. Are you going to ever stop eating? No! Never! <laughs> um, well, guys, I have to get going. Um, since it's half day at school today, I have things I have to do. Oh, well, um, okay. Bye! Molly, do you think it's weird that she has all this money all of a sudden? I think it's really weird. I think I should follow her. Follow her for what? Because I want to see where she's getting all this money from. Did she find a special tree out in the forest that, that, that grows money leaves? Because if so, I want to go there and pick all of the leaves off of it. Oh boy, Molly, that sounds very greedy. Well, I, I, I want to discover a money tree too. Well, I'm not following her. I have an after school job now. You do? Yep, and I love it. So have fun and let me know what's up. There's Brookie's car. <laughs> I'll see what she's up to. Where's she going? Looks like she's headed to that house she likes so much. Don't tell me she bought it. <laughs> that house was a million dollars. How would she ever afford it? 
I wish I had a fancy car. These are huge hills! Huge! Wait, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Okay, I don't want to get seen. Where's this money tree she has? Hmm, this house looks like the perfect house to rob! <laughs> what? Did she say rob? Nah, <laughs> she couldn't have. I'm gonna watch what she does next. <gasps> She's putting on a black outfit. Why is she doing that? <laughs> no one's home, so this should be a perfectly easy job. She is going into that house. <gasps> I hope she doesn't really say that she's robbing the place. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna look in the windows. <gasps> okay, I don't want to be seen. Where's she going? She's stealing stuff out of the dresser! Oh my god! They have an indoor pool? That's amazing. Okay, focus, Molly! Focus! Oh, look, it's the safe. <laughs> now I'll be able to afford this kind of house because I'll steal all the money. What? B -b 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 a, a, a crook? A thief? A, a criminal? My best friend. And I didn't even know it. Oh, my God. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? If I call the police, my best friend will go to jail. How will I live without her? But if I don't call the police, well, then it's wrong because she's doing something criminal and, 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 and I'm supposed to call the police. Oh god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh no. I have to call the police on my friend. Oh no. 911, what's your emergency? Um, I'm at 175 Brookhaven Lane and my best friend is a criminal. Could you be a little bit more specific? I kind of have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. What are you doing right now? Oh, sorry. I'm eating a donut. <laughs> I'm almost finished. OMG, this is serious! My best friend's a criminal! She's robbing this house as we speak! What? She's robbing a house? Okay, I'll send an officer over right away. Because I can't come. I'm eating a donut. Yeah, yeah, okay, I I'll be here. Just hurry! Where are these police? I mean, they're being so slow. Holy guacamole. Wait, here they come! OMG! They're gonna block off Brookie's car! Brilliant police move! Okay! Who's who's gonna be a new arrest? Daisy? What are you wearing? Oh, I didn't realize she would place the car, Marty. What's going on? Daisy, why are you in a police uniform? Because this is my after-school job, duh! A police officer? Yeah, I love it too. Oh, I feel so amazing! Powerful! Go power! Oh my gosh, Daisy. You as a police officer is just scary. Why? I'm good at it. I don't know. It's just something about the little pigtail. You're just too cute! You can't you can't act mean. I'm gonna act mean right now and throw you in jail if you don't talk nicer to me. Okay, fine. Um, I don't know how to be nice to you. You're my sister. Wait, I think Brookie's coming! Shh! What's going on? <gasps> OMG! What, what's going on here? What's going on is you're busted! Molly, did you did you call the cops on me? Um, I, I'm sorry, Brookie, but 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 I had to. It was the right thing to do. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. But she was my best friend. Yeah, and and I had to. Who are you here to see? Uh, the only person in the jail. Who is it that you are to see? Mm. These blueberry donuts are so good. Dunkin' Donuts makes the best donuts in the world. I I'm here to see my best friend, Brookie. Oh, yeah, the criminal. Okay, you're checked in. You can go in and see you. You have a face at all? Thanks. Oh, it's you. Um, Brookie, I, I just came to see you. I I I'm sorry that our friendship has ended up this way. You should be. You called the police on me. I, I had to, Brookie. What you were doing was wrong. What I was doing was right. I'm tired of being poor. I couldn't even afford an ice cream with my friends. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. And you ruined everything. Brookie, it, it, you can't just be a criminal because you're poor. That's not okay. Stop yelling at me. Well, actually, I can yell at you because I'm out here and I'm not a criminal and you're in there. So you kind of have to hear what I have to say. No, 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 I'm not listening. Oh, wow, that's really immature. I'm not listening. No, 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 Go away. We're 
not best friends anymore. You're not my friend at all. What? Rookie? S -s Seriously? Yeah, I don't like you. I hate you. You're horrible. You're, you're the worst person ever. Oh my god, Brookie! Brookie! Ah, I lost my best friend! Ah! Well, you do the crime, you do the time. Ah! No! No, Brookie! No! <laughs> Brookie! Molly? Mo Molly, are, are you okay up there? What? What's going on? Huh? Oh my gosh! It was all a nightmare! Hey, Molly. <laughs> you sleepy head. Why are you sleeping so late? I had a really rough night's sleep. It looks like it. Have you been crying? Oh, yeah. No, 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 never mind about that. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Cute PJs. Oh, <laughs> thanks. They're super comfy. Molly, I thought today would be the... What? Where'd all that money come from? Whoa, Molly, what is your problem? I knew it. I knew it. You, you have to go to jail. That's just it. What are you talking about, Molly? I thought he would take you out for ice cream today. I want ice cream for you. You, you stole that money. Molly, that's not very nice. What, what happened to you? Did you roll off the top bunk of bed and bunk your head on the floor or something? How rude. I don't know if we can be friends if you're going to be so mean. Well, well, you belong in jail because you steal the money. What are you talking about? I didn't steal that money. I got an after-school job at the grocery store. Oh, uh, I'm so... I'm so sorry, Brookie. I... Okay. It's a long story, but I had this horrible dream that you broke into people's houses, stole all their money from the safe, bought a Ferrari, got new Louis Vuitton clothes, and basically, um, yeah, you were criminal and went to jail. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That's ridiculous, Molly. I know. It sounds ridiculous, but the dream felt really real. <laughs> like your friend would ever be a criminal no seriously I, I, I felt like it was so real but I know you're not a criminal R right of course I'm not Molly I really did get a job at the grocery store <laughs> now do you want an ice cream cone or not yeah sounds pretty good I got uh, a call about someone robbing the house next door said they ran in heel <gasps> I knew it Brookie it was you it wasn't me. I, I didn't do it. Had your description. Um, short brown hair, green bow. Ah! She did it! She robbed the house! She's a criminal! <laughs> I like to good my funny bone. <laughs> oh my gosh, Daisy. You got Molly so good. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, that was funny. Oh, Daisy, you're so bad. <laughs> Whoa, Molly, your outfit for school looks so cool today. Where'd you get that? Um, I saved up my allowance and I bought it from the mall. Wow, I actually really like it, which is surprising because usually your fashion is, well... So last season. Oh, don't sound like a, such a snob, Daisy. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Molly. You look great. Thanks, Daisy. Girls, would you like some pancakes or something for breakfast? Don't you know it. That sounds delicious, Mom. Mmm, I'm getting hungrier just thinking about it. Well, too bad. I All I have is waffles. Oh, huh. well, waffles will do. That sounds good, too. Wow, Molly's in a really good mood. It must be her new outfit. I know. Doesn't she look so cute in it? Yeah, I really do feel pretty in it. Thanks. Maybe you could do something different with your hair, too. Just for a change. Mm, that's delicious. Nah, my hair's good enough. I keep thinking that I want to do something different with mine. I mean, the pigtails are cute, but what else is out there? There's a whole world of hell that I've never explored before. <laughs> Daisy, you're so crazy when it comes to fashion. Oh, no. There's the bus. Oh, Molly, you're going to have to take your waffle to go. Nonsense. I can eat it super fast. Watch this. See? Told you I could eat it super fast. Lightning speed! <laughs> Molly, why are you sitting on top of the school bus? That's so dangerous! Well, why are you driving it? Because it's Brookhaven. 
Anything can happen here. <laughs> I can't believe it. We're actually early to school. That's what happens when I don't make the bus late. <laughs> My bad. Come on, let's get to English class. La 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 Ta da! Molly is awesome. What? Who wrote that on the board? Must be the principal. They just know I'm so cool. Wait a minute. Isn't this the room that they have detention in? Yeah. Weren't you in detention last night? Uh. Yes. You wrote that on the board so we'd all see it this morning. Molly is awesome. Pfft, whatever. Whoa. Look at Charlotte's hair. If you didn't know, Charlotte is the new popular girl at my school. Sarah absolutely hates that she's so popular and beautiful. But we just think she's nice and super cool. Hey, guys. Good morning. Hey, Charlotte. I love your purple hair. It looks amazing with your makeup and your outfit. I love it, too. I was just thinking I could do something cool like that with my hair. Don't even bother. It's not that cool. Sarah, you're just jealous because Charlotte has beautiful purple hair and you don't. I would never dye my hair purple. That's like the dumbest thing ever. That's not very nice. Yeah, Sarah, that's not very nice, especially since she looks amazing. Don't worry about it, guys. I'm just ignoring the negativity. <laughs> that's what I do on social media, too. Whenever somebody says something mean on my TikTok, I'm like, whatever. You're such a keyboard troll. Yeah, exactly. Later that day. School's out for well, not forever, just till tomorrow, but I'll take it. Freedom! The smell of the air, the look of the sky when you don't have to go to school. Uh, Molly, I have to run to the store for a few things. I'll be home later. Really? Uh, could you pick me up a chocolate bar? Sorry, Molly, can't. I have to spend my money on something else. Ugh, but I really want a chocolate bar. Dear Brookhaven game developer, why is there no CVS in this entire town? We people of Brookhaven need a drug store. Thankfully, Brookhaven grocery store does have hair dye. And I know exactly the color I'm going to pick. <laughs> a few hours later. <sighs> what a long day. I can't wait to eat this bean burrito as a snack. Mm. Mm. That's delicious. Leftover bean burritos from last night's dinner make the perfect after-school snack. I can't even talk. The, the, the smell of it is just... Mm, it's going to make me, like, pass out. It smells so good. Molly, you are so obsessed with bean burritos. Ay ay ay. Where have you been, Daisy? I told you I had to go to the store. Okay, well, um, I hope you got me a chocolate bar. I didn't. Ugh. You're the worst sister ever. Just kidding. You're a good sister. Just why can't you buy me things when I ask you to? Because I'm not your mother. <laughs> what will I look like with purple hair? I mean, I'm kind of afraid. I've had these pigtails and this color hair since I was a baby. I don't know if I'm going to look weird. I, I, I'm getting cold feet. I'm not sure that I could do this. It just seems like, I don't know, it won't be me anymore. Get it together, Daisy! You can do this! You're a fashionista! You you can be as cool as Charlotte, the most popular girl at school! Yeah, that's that's what I'll do. I'll die it! Oh, I don't feel so good. Oh, why did I eat three, three bean burritos? I could have just ate one, but no! My eyes were definitely bigger than my stomach. Oh, there. There, I feel better. Oh, no! Nope! Daisy, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. Sorry, Molly. Occupy. Daisy, seriously. I ate a bean burrito and I... <laughs> I have to go. <laughs> oh, Molly. No way. You're not poo-pooing in here. I got to spend some time in here. And that's gross. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll light a candle or something. Come on. Open the door. Molly, I said I'm busy. Daisy! Molly, get out. Daisy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Molly! What? I have to go! Ay, ay, ay. Hurry up. I've got things to do. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be here a minute. Ugh. Every time I promise myself that I won't eat any more bean burritos. This is exactly what happens. And every time I do it again and again and again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, dear God. I promise I'll never eat a bean burrito again. 
Did you just make my stomach stop feeling like it's gonna explode? Molly, are you done in there yet? Did you eat another three bean burritos? Yes! And I'm being in real trouble for it! <sighs> okay, I think I'm done. Nope, not done! Hmm, that took a lot of work. Maybe I should go eat that last bean burrito. Molly, what are you doing? I'm gonna go eat a bean burrito. I'm hungry. Molly, don't you dare eat another bean burrito! What are you doing, Daisy? I'm gonna dye my hair. What? Purple? Yeah, but I'm afraid. I feel like everyone would tease me. Well, they might. Molly, thanks for the vote of confidence. But since you're afraid to do it alone, I'll dye mine purple too. Really? You do that for me? Of course, we're sisters. And even though I find you super duper uber annoying, Molly, well, I do. You're still my sister. I love you. And you're one of my bestest friends. Aw, ditto, Molly. You're my best friend too. Well, besides Brookie. Yeah, besides Brookie. But anyway, we can dye our hair purple together and walk into school together. Wow, Molly. This means a lot to me. Thank you. You're probably going to need a mask and some um, stuff on your hands so it doesn't dye your hands purple. Why? You don't want your hands to match your hair? That'd be so cool. Trust me, Molly. This dye would never come off. Okay, well, let's do this. Uh, maybe we ought to wait a half an hour. It kind of stinks in here. Ew, Molly! <laughs> Just enough time to eat another bean burrito. Don't even think about it. Well, Daisy, are you ready for this? The big purple hair reveal? I don't know, Molly. I'm kind of nervous. Don't worry. We're cool as anything. We're like cool as Charlotte even. I mean, we have purple hair now too. Yeah, but what if people tease us? Don't be ridiculous, Daisy. You look amazing. Come on. What is going on here? We have purple hair. Okay, you got my attention for like one second, losers. Ugh, oh, you look ridiculous. You're gonna be the laughing stock of the school. <laughs> what? I, I thought I looked good. Daisy, don't listen to her. She's going to in infect you with her evil words. Stop talking to us this way, Sarah. It's not nice. You look like a grape head. What's a grape head? What is that even? It's like the grapes you get at the store, only on your head. Sarah! That was rude! Get out of my way, grape head. I don't want to be late for class. Ugh, Sarah! Sarah is so rude! But I have a plan to fix everything. Is the principal in her office? Let's see. No! <laughs> Time to make an announcement over the loudspeaker. Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Testing one, two. Hello, students of Brookhaven. Today, we have declared that it is Purple Hair Day. Anyone with purple hair in the school does not have to do homework for the rest of the week. Congratulations, purple hair people. You are super beautiful, super special, and amazing, and we love your uniqueness. So much so, no homework for you. Thank you very much. Continue about your day. Oh, and Large Marge, we're having pizza for lunch, right? <laughs> there, that should have fixed the problem. Look, even the teacher gets it. Purple hair equals no homework. Cool. Loser, your hair looks so ugly. I don't care if it's purple hair day. I would never conform to that. Even if I had to do all the homework in the world. Ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> I just want to have my normal hair back. Daisy, don't listen to her, Sarah. You are being such a bully. Whatever. Losers. <laughs> You're stuck with that hair now for at least a month because if you try to dye it back, all your hair will fall out. Really? Yeah, I did read that on the hair dye box, Daisy. We're kind of stuck with this hair for a month. Oh, man. I don't know about this, Shiny. I mean, an adoption center for magical creatures? Ugh, this is so lame. Come on, Stormy. It's our last chance at getting adopted. It's for magical creatures. I'm sure that someone will adopt us. Quit being so well yourself, Stormy. I'm grumpy. Deal with it. Welcome to the adoption center. How may I help you? 
Yeah, my sister thinks we should come here because we might get adopted. But I can see that you're a mermaid and what are you doing here? Huh, shiny? Well, actually, we have all different sorts of magical creatures sometimes, but lately we've just been having, well, all mermaids. See, I told you, shiny. Unicorn kids don't belong here. Shh, Stormy, stop being so miserable. Sorry, don't listen to my twin sister. She was born, well, grumpy, gloomy, stormy. Like, like when the clouds roll in and thunder and lightning and rain and, and, and. Yeah, I get the point. It's okay, girls. I think I might be able to find someone to adopt you. I mean, normally we have adorable baby mermaids here, but um, <laughs> somebody could love to... Um, completely opposite unicorns, I think. Whatever. I'm gonna go over there and chill on the couch. You answer all the questions, Shiny. So your name is Shiny, huh? That's right. Um, I, I was, um, born just a few seconds before my sister Stormy. Well, normally our mermaids here have names like Luna and Aquarius and Ariel. You guys have kind of strange names, but hopefully we could still find someone to adopt you. Oh, Aww. could you? I would love to have a mom or a dad or both. Well, let me show you to your room. Come on, Stormy. She's going to show us to our room. Back here is where all the potential children who are going to be adopted live. What is this place? It's literally all pools. Well, it doesn't make sense since you mostly just have children who are mermaids that are being adopted. I told you we didn't belong here, Shiny. I just knew it. Now let's go. Well, but, but, but just because there's mermaids here, that makes us different. So maybe someone will think that we're amazing and unique and want to adopt us. Sorry, girls, but I'll have to get you some snorkel gear so you can breathe in the underwater bedrooms. It's all I have set up. <laughs> Ugh, oh, just my luck. Ugh, oh, I can't believe this is my room. I'm a unicorn, not a mermaid baby. Oh, well, at least I have some place to sleep. And I'm not going to be homeless. I guess that's a plus. Even if this feels like I don't belong here. Look at this beautiful room! I wish I could stay here forever. It's so pretty. I mean, my hair will get a little bit crazy from being in the water all the time because I'm not a mermaid, but I don't care. There's toys here and a bed and warm clothes. This is a dream come true to be here. I don't care what Stormy says. Dear Magical Adoption Center, I would like to adopt one of your children. Can I come in today to see them? Whoa. I guess they're interested in adopting one of our children. This is amazing. Okay, well, I'll call our only mermaid left out here. Hi, sweetie. Are you ready to be adopted? I can't believe it. I'm gonna get adopted. Well, it's not for sure yet, but I'm really hoping that you do. I would love to be adopted. It would be amazing. Hi, I emailed you earlier about adopting a magical creature. I saw that you had a baby mermaid here. She's so adorable. I really want to adopt her, okay? Wait, what? A human? Um, well, you definitely can't. You cannot adopt a mermaid. Nope, you cannot. Wait, what? Why not? I'd be a great mom. Are you saying that I'm not going to be a good mom? No, I'm not saying you won't be a good mom. I'm just saying you won't be a good mom for a mermaid baby. You see, you don't have a tail, so you don't know anything about your tail drying out. You also don't know how to raise a baby mermaid. You can't breathe underwater. I mean, you don't even know how to feed a baby mermaid. They're not like humans, you know. Whoa. Is there any other magical creatures? I already told my friend I was adopting a magical creature. And now I'm going to show up at, for Starbucks and I'm just going to be, well, not a mom. Never fear. I think I have the perfect set of girl twins that are magical just for you. Really? Magical what? There are two men and unicorns. Wait, what? Twin unicorn daughters? That's amazing! 
Look, I promised my friend from out of town that I'd have Starbucks with her today. Um, and I didn't think adopting would take so long. Um, but I'll be back in an hour after I have Starbucks with her, and I'll pick up my twin unicorn daughters. This is amazing! Well, it's not like the twin unicorns have a lot of options. Um, sure. You can come back in an hour. I'll have them ready for adoption by then. Ugh, this place is so lame. I just hate it here. I wish I could go back to unicorn land. My life is terrible. My sister is always so, well, happy and, and shiny and perfect. She makes me feel so different. Oh my gosh, I can't believe what I just overheard. That woman wants to be me and my sister's mom. She's coming back in an hour to pick us up. But I know my sister Stormy. She's gonna ruin everything by being so miserable and grumpy. I'm gonna use some magic dust and I'm gonna make sure that she is so happy that our new mom adopts us. Hey, Stormy, my favorite twin sister. Uh, what do you want, Shiny, besides to annoy me? Oh, Stormy, you should turn that frown upside down because I made you your favorite hot chocolate with sprinkles in them and marshmallows. Wow, that was really nice of you, Shiny. Uh, but still, I still feel, well, like myself. Well, drink fat. I'm sure that it's going to make you feel so much better. Ah, it was made with love. Aww. Of course it was, Shiny. All right, fine. I'll drink your hot chocolate. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Do you feel anything? <laughs> like, happier? <laughs> Why would I feel happy? You're the shiny, perfect one. I'm Stormy, remember? Yeah, but I just thought the chocolate would really cheer you up. <laughs> it is, right? Cheering you up? You know, I know you're my twin sister and everything, but I wish you would just like stop trying to make me something that I'm not. I, I, ugh. Okay, I guess Stormy, you're never gonna be happy. I just really want you to be. I'm never gonna feel happy? Actually, I am starting to feel like I just need to laugh. <laughs> Everything seems super funny to me right now, and I don't know why. <laughs> I feel so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh, Stormy, I'm so happy. Maybe we should change your name. Uh, maybe, <laughs> but this was the name I was given, so I guess I'm just going to be the happy Stormy. Oh, I really like the happy Stormy. You're so much more like my twin sister now. Hey, girls. Um, I want to tell you something. Someone came in earlier that wants to adopt both of you. She seems like she's going to be a pretty good mom. Stormy, Shiny, what do you think? I think we'll take her as our adopted mom, right, Stormy? <laughs> sure. I would love to have her as a mom. That makes me feel, well, super happy shiny. Stormy! Whoa, this kid definitely just made a change. Hi, I'm back to pick up my twin unicorn daughters. I'm so excited to meet them. Well, one of them can be a little grumpy, but she seems to be happy now, so maybe it's that she's getting adopted. Stormy, shiny, your new mom is here. Hey girls, it's so nice to meet you. I'm gonna be your mom and I drink a lot of Starbucks and I get my nails and hair done and I'm gonna take you girls to do all of those things. It's gonna be amazing. Can you believe this, Stormy? We're finally getting adopted and you are so happy. Yeah, I am feeling happy. This isn't like me at all. Wait a minute. Did you put something in my hot chocolate shiny to change my personality? What? Me? <laughs> um, never. Of course, I wouldn't do that. Now come on, let's go home with our new mom. Well, welcome to your new home, girls. You must be so excited to finally have a home of your own. 
Now, do you girls like pizza? Because I make an amazing pizza and I think you're going to love it. I'm gonna go into the kitchen and you girls can check out the new house, okay? Did you hear that, Stormy? We get to have pizza for the first time. I always wanted to try pizza. I mean, we didn't have that in Unicorn Land. So this is amazing to have a human mom making us human food. Aren't you excited, Stormy? Huh? 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 Yeah, I sort of feel happy and sort of feel like my old self. Shiny, did you put something in my hot chocolate? Well, um, okay. Confession time. I put some magic dust in there to make you happy because we can't be orphans forever, Stormy. O-M-G. What were you thinking, Shiny? I'm me. Mom named us these names before she died and she accepted me just the way I was, Shiny. Ugh, you're such a terrible sister sometimes. Me? I'm terrible? Try living with you, Stormy. Always grumpy, always moody, always raining on everybody's good time. You need a mom, okay? And you need to try to stop being, well, yourself so much, grumpy. Uh-oh. Well, I guess you have a point. Shiny, I don't want to take this opportunity from you to have a mom. You don't want to take it from yourself either, Stormy. She seems really nice. Yeah, she does seem nice. Okay. I guess you can give me some more magic dust so I can be happy and maybe I can learn to actually be happy on my own. Yeah, well, I'm out of magic dust. So you're going to have to learn how to be happy by yourself. Happy? By myself? But I'm stormy. What I need you to do is think of something that makes you happier than anything in the world, Stormy. Well, Shiny, you being my sister makes me pretty happy, even if you drive me crazy most of the time. Really? I do? Yeah, you're my twin. There's like this unspoken bond between us. Oh. I love you, so I'm gonna be trying to be happy here for you. Oh, Stormy, thank you. Girls, the pizza's done. Wow. MG, our first pizza. It smells disgusting. Yeah. Stormy. Okay, okay. It smells fabulous. Put a smile on your face, Stormy. Wow, this pizza looks delicious, new mom. Thank you so much. Stormy, are you going to eat any of the pizza? Um, uh, Stormy, eat it. It's so good, you're gonna love it. Okay, fine. Actually, this pizza's pretty good. Thanks, Mom. Yay! Stormy, I knew you'd love it here. <sighs> I'm gonna try, Shiny. I'm gonna try. Tummy kind of hurts. Oh, it's only 12.30 at night? Why do I have to go to the bathroom right now? That's so weird. Oh, no. I hope I'm not going to get a stomach ache. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh finally. Made it to the party. Oh, I just don't really feel good. Oh, what's wrong with me? Oh, it was probably nothing. I'll just go back to bed and get a good night's sleep. Five minutes later. Oh no! Not again! Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely sick. Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that Daisy's alarm? It's already gone off like three times. Why doesn't she turn that off? That's so annoying. Oh, 
she's probably in the shower and forgot about it. I'll just have to go turn it off, I guess, unless I want to hear that all the while I'm sleeping in. Daisy, what are you doing? Why are you still in bed? Uh-oh! Oh, uh, Molly, it was up all night long, puffing and running into the bathroom and... Oh, God, Daisy, are you sick? I think so, Molly. Does my face look sick? Um, well, you have a green face and pink spots all over. Yes, you're sick! <coughs> Don't give it to me. Ugh, gross. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Molly. You're so kind. Well, ew, gross. And how come it smells like stinky doo-doo in here? <coughs> because, Molly, I told you it was up all night long sick. Uh-oh. gross. Well, wait a minute. Does this mean you don't have to go to school today? I can't go to school. How sad. Well, why should I have to go to school and you don't? Because, Molly, look at me. I'm green with pink spots. I'm really sick. Now get out of my room. I don't feel good. Oh, fine. I can't believe my sister gets to stay home and I have to go to school? How is that fair? Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> I have the perfect idea. Oh, isn't she so cute when she's asleep in her crib? Look at her little passy. It's so adorable. Baby Kira, come on, sweetheart. It's time to wake up. Come on, I made breakfast. Wake up, sweetie. Which reminds me, Molly and Daisy aren't out of bed yet. Which I would expect from Molly, but Daisy? Hmm, she must have overslept. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. Daisy? What's going on, honey? You're not out of bed yet. He woke sick. He died when we sick, mama. I can't have sick, baby Kira. I, I don't feel so good, mom. <gasps> you look green, and are those spots all over your face? Oh my goodness, honey. I don't get eyes, I get eyes on people. Daisy, feel bad. Oh, baby Kira, I don't think you should be around your sister right now. She might be contagious. Ow. I can't just tell mama, though. Oh, she just wants to help, honey. So, what are your symptoms? Well, I was up all night puking and running to the bathroom. I feel super cold, but my skin feels hot, and I feel nauseous still. Oh my, that definitely sounds like some sort of flu. You need to stay home from school. I'll call the school. Thanks, Mom. Oh. I really don't want to miss school today. I know. Well, I got the mom, but I take your temperature. Whoa, that thermometer looks weird. Oh, I brought it home from the hospital. It's a new type of thermometer. It works really well. It's very accurate. Okay, hold still. Baby Kira's going to take your temperature. Whoa, your temperature 103.2. Wow, you're definitely going to need to take some medicine to bring that down. After I wake up, Molly, I'll bring you some medicine. Okay, sweetie? Okay, thanks, Bob. Uh-oh. Here comes Mom. I have to get back in bed. Oh, oh, I'm so sick. <sighs> Molly, are you okay? No, I'm so sick. Oh, really? Well, what are your symptoms? Um, I farted and it smelled like a taco. What? I've got an upset stomach is what I'm trying to say. Yes, it's terrible. I can't go to school. Absolutely not. I have to stay here and play Roblox all day. Molly, are you faking being sick because your sister is sick? What? No, I didn't even know she was sick. Yes, you did, Molly. You came in here. Molly, do you want to get grounded? No. Are you really sick? Um, the thought of going to school and having to face my teacher and not having done my homework makes me kind of sick. Uh-oh. Molly, get out of bed. Go down and eat breakfast. I have to bring Daisy some medicine. Ugh. <sighs> Why don't you believe me, Mom? Because, Molly, I think you're just sick because you have to go to school. Not because you're actually sick. Now go get ready. Fine. Ow. I'm coming with the medicine, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. She always gets away with everything. I get up like a I get up I nurse baby Kira. Oh, <laughs> your nurse baby Kira. Oh. Aren't you adorable? Okay. Mom made pancakes, so I guess this makes this day... A little bit better, but, you know, not totally. Still have to go to school. My sister gets to stay home. Mm. Oh, look at that extra syrup. Delicious. So delicious. 
I can't stop eating it, for real. Mm. I want some more. It's so delicious! I really want some more! <laughs> oh my god, I love when you're playing Roblox, you try to place something on the table, and like, it ends up some somewhere weird. <laughs> Look at my plate of pancakes. It's literally like balancing on the edge of that chair. <laughs> Sometimes Roblox glitches are so ridiculous! Ugh, why do I eat so many pancakes? My stomach kind of hurts. <gasps> I hope I didn't catch it! Molly, you didn't catch anything. You just ate too many pancakes. Yeah, but since when have I not been able to eat a ton of pancakes? Like, never. I always eat every single pancake in the entire world. Diz, you're so lucky you get to stay home. I don't think she's very lucky, Molly. Look at her. She looks terrible. I could have found you for you feel bad. Here you go, Daisy. Why am I drinking that for baby kid with sippy cup, Mom? Um, well, <laughs> I haven't run the dishwasher yet. It's all I had. Besides, remember when you were little? It was the only way you take medicine is in your bottle or your sippy cup. Mom, seriously? Well, it's all I have clean, so just, just drink it, okay? Uh, I I just gotta make sure Molly's getting ready to get on the bus. I'll be right back to check on you. Don't worry, Mama. I know it's baby killer. I take good care of this. Ugh, those pancakes were like too much. Seriously. Oh, I feel like, ugh. Ugh. Well, at least I'm ready for school. I guess that's something. I'm gonna snap my adorable outfit right now because I do look super cute. Look at me, I have on my unicorn sweatshirt. So cute, it has all the colors of the rainbow on it. Just a pair of jeans. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually give myself this cute, I think I'm gonna give myself that. <laughs> That's perfect to go with my unicorn, yes! Sending it to everyone I know. Send to everyone. <laughs> Hello, bouncy bird. We meet again. Ah! Oh no! Why can I never ever win at this game? I can never win. I shall beat you, bouncy bird. If it's the last thing I do. Whoa! You can't just Ooh. like oh whoa, life pay? No, I don't I don't have any money. I just have to start over from the beginning. Oh! <laughs> Molly, are you getting ready for school? Uh-huh, yep, sure I am. Um, Molly, are you dressed? Yep, dressed. Oh, this game. Are you playing games on your phone? Um, caught you. Come on, the bus is going to be here any minute. Okay, fine. Don't, don't get back in bed. Sorry, that I didn't mean to. That was a Roblox thing. I swear it. <laughs> Does anyone else out there um get on the bus before the sun even comes up? Like, how ridiculous is this? We are not supposed to be waking up this early in the morning. Seriously. I, I, I think that we should change this about it. I'm like, no more getting on the school bus when it's dark. That's too early. It's way too early. I guess um, the sun just comes up as I'm getting on the bus because I'm only the second person that gets picked up in the entire school. Hey, good morning, Molly. Wait, where's Daisy? Okay, everybody, um, we're gonna go pick up the other students, so make sure you stay in your seats. Yeah, I know, Bacon Hair, we hear ya. Oh, if, if, if I could only stop being a noob, I could get a better job than school bus driver, and I could actually, you know, buy some shoes! I mean, why am I such a Bacon Hair? Hey, being a school bus driver is very important work. Yeah, and, until you get homework crumpled up and thrown at your Bacon Hair. Okay, maybe the students are a little cray-cray with you, Bacon, but, you know, overall, this has got to be a great job, right? I don't know. Remember when we all got the stomach bug and we were throwing up all over the bus and then someone threw up in Bacon's hair? Yeah, remember that? Oh, yeah, that was pretty terrible. I think I have a Snapchat of that. Let me look at my phone and see. Oh, no, I think I got erased. That would have been amazing if I still had that. Oh, yeah, it's a memory I want to remember forever, not. Anyway, Molly, where's Daisy? Did she get a ride from your mom or something? No, she's sick with none other than the flu. What? Is she going to be okay? I'm sure she is. I just think it's really unfair that she gets to stay home while I'm at school. Well, in her defense, Molly, do you really want to be home puking and everything? 
If it meant I could miss doing homework, yes! Okay, class, I need everyone to um, hand in your homework last night. Did anybody have any questions about it? Homework? Uh, homework? What homework? Well, you have homework every single night except for the weekend. You knew you had homework. Uh, Molly, did you not do your homework again? <gasps> um, uh... Molly, you know, I'm a really cool teacher and all, but I just have to tell you that, well, I'm giving you detention. <laughs> detention? <laughs> Mr. Snickerbucker, you can't do this! I, I've never had detention in my life. I, I am the most best student in the whole world! This is shocking to me. <laughs> Molly without detention is like me without blue hair. <laughs> You're crazy. Billy, I don't know what you're talking about. Your hair isn't blue. Molly, sit down. But I don't want detention, please. Coming to school today was enough work. Well, you also need to do your homework and you know this, Molly. Now sit down and take your detention because it's what you're getting. Ow! Detention? Ugh. You know, you could actually do your homework and then you wouldn't get in trouble. Well, how does that help me now? I've already got the detention. Ooh, my tummy feels kind of weird. Uh, Mr. Schindenbacher, can I go to the bathroom? No, Molly, you need to do your work. I really have to go. Please, 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 please. Okay, but hurry back. Okay, I will. <coughs> oh my god, my stomach really hurts. Oh, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. Ah, why was the door open? Oh, okay, I just had to pull the handle. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, wait, I didn't even close the door. <laughs> That could have been really bad. Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh, I ate so many pancakes. I always think I can eat more pancakes than I actually can. Too many. Okay, okay, I think I'm okay now. <sighs> Don't go in that bathroom, though. Woo-wee, it's closed for the rest of the day. Thank you for joining us again, Molly. Uh, you're welcome. I didn't know it was such an amazing thing to have me in your class. It's not. Okay, everybody else has their books out, Molly, except for you. That's because my stomach's kind of really upset. Uh-huh, sure. Don't try to get out of detention. I'm not trying to get out of detention. Please. My tummy really hurts. Molly, are you okay? Not really, Brookie. My stomach is just really hurting me. Oh, no, Molly. You don't think you caught Daisy's flu, do you? <gasps> I don't know. Oh. Okay, Molly, I want you to go up to the board and read what's on it for me, please. Okay, if you really want me to. Oh, oh my uh -oh. stomach! Oh. <laughs> oh, Molly, why didn't you go to the bathroom? Because I told you I needed to go and you wouldn't let me. Oh, yuck. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. What is a continent? A continent is a very large landmass. Woohoo! Save by the bell! Everyone is dismissed to lunch. Ugh, lunch. That doesn't sound very good. Hey, kids. What's up? Hey, Large Marge. Whoa, Molly, look. She has your favorites out today. Pizza, cheeseburgers, everything you love. French fries. Ugh, I don't want any of it. What? Wait, what? Are you kidding me right now, Molly? You love this stuff. I'm Snapchatting it because this is like the most delicious like lunch we've had in all like the school year pretty much. I'm just eating a cheeseburger. I don't want to Snapchat lunch. Molly, are you okay? Maybe you did actually get sick. Come on, try something. Okay. Ugh. Nah, I'm just going to put my tray back. <gasps> oh, did you have the hiccups, Molly? <gasps> yeah. And, and, uh-oh. I got to go to the bathroom again. Molly, are you okay? Oh my gosh, I think Molly might be sick. Oh, why are the bathrooms so far away? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Um, I have to clean the bathrooms. Oh no. Oh, why does a janitor have to come in right when I'm in the bathroom? Uh, somebody's in here. Okay, well, the bathroom's gonna be closed in two minutes because I have to actually clean it. Ooh. No, it can't be closed. Molly, are you in there? Prookie, oh no. Molly, are you okay? Oh, ew! There's a bunch of pink on your face. Why does it look like a rainbow? Oh, I ate some Skittles on the school bus. Whoopsie. Ugh, oh, Molly, gross. Okay, girls, I need you to get out of here because 
Ew, it really needs to get cleaned. Um, sorry, but, um, I think I might have the stomach bug and... Oh, great. No, I'm gonna catch uh -oh. the stomach bug. Wait a minute. Aren't you the school bus driver? Yeah, but I wanted to be able to get a pair of shoes, so Bacon Hair has to have two jobs, okay? And now, also, the third job is gonna be, uh, canceled because I'm gonna catch the stomach bug from you. Wow, Bacon, you really do have a rough life. Only, I think you need to go to the school nurse. Stat! Ugh. Oh, can't make it. Blech. Yeah, Molly, I'm walking you to the school nurse right now. Come on. Oh, thanks for being such a good friend, Brookie. <laughs> Molly, I really hope you feel better. Also, don't give me the flu. I'm trying not to, Brookie. I'm trying not to. Well, hopefully the nurse will just call your mom and you can go home. Uh, and also, you still look like you're puking. Oh, uh, uh. oh hello there. Um, checking into the nurse's office? Yeah. Oh, you look terrible. Ooh, why do you have rainbow puke? I ate Skittles on the school bus on the way to school. Oh, my. Okay, let's take your temperature. Go ahead, lay on the nurse's cot. The magic nurse's cot! Everybody knows, this will make you feel better. If anything will make you feel better, the magic nurse cot will. That's right, sometimes all you need to do is just lay down for a few minutes, and then you'll feel better. I have to Snapchat this. This is kind of crazy. You need to lay down. I know, but first I want to show everybody that I was throwing up. Look, I'm going to be like a dog throwing up. <laughs> yeah. Don't I look adorable? Not. Um, this is more like it. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. OMG. I'm sending it to everybody I know. I put on a face mask, Molly, obviously, because you're sick. Could you lay down, please? I'm, I'm trying to lay down, but this game won't let me, and I'm really sick, and I need to lay down. Come on, Roblox, what's wrong with you? Okay, there we go. Thank you for laying down. Okay, just hold still. I'm going to take your temperature. Oh, wow. Over 100. And I suspect it's going to keep climbing since you are throwing up. Yeah, I don't feel so good. I'm going to call your mom. Can I go home? Yes, she'll have to come pick you up. It's ringing, Molly. Oh, thank goodness. I can't wait to go home. Hello? Oh, hi. Is this Laura Acker? Yes, it is. Oh, no. Don't tell me Molly got suspended. <gasps> what? No. She's in the nurse's office. She's not feeling well. Ugh. Oh, she's always trying to get away with that. She's just faking it. No, Mrs. Acker. I actually took her temperature and she's throwing up. She's actually really sick. Wait, what? Okay. Tell Molly I'll be there in 15 minutes to pick her up. All right, I will. Thank you. Well, your mom thought you were faking it. Do you often pretend that you're sick? Only when I don't want to go to school, do my homework, or be responsible for anything. Okay, so a lot. You might want to stop doing that. She didn't quite believe that you were sick. So wait, she's not coming to get me? I'm stuck on the nurse's magic cot when I want to go home and get in my pajamas and eat popsicles. No, honey, she's coming to pick you up. You just rest, and when she gets here, she can come get you. Thank you. Oh, I feel so sick, Mom. <gasps> Daisy, I'm so sorry, but I have to run over to the school. What? No, you can't leave me. I need more popsicles, and I need you to tell me. Oh, there, there. Are you okay? Oh, honey, as much as I'd love to stay here and baby you while you're sick, I have to run over to this, pick up this, over to the school and pick up your sister because she's also sick. She's faking it. She's not even sick. Actually, the school nurse called, and she caught your stomach bug, too, or whatever this is. I don't have it. Oh. That's right. Hopefully, you don't get it, baby Kira. It's terrible. You don't want it. I feel bad for Molly. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm going to run over there with baby Kira. I'll be back in, like, 15 minutes, okay? Okay, Mama, I'll text you if I need anything. Okay, honey, I'll be right back. Oh, no! Money's got the bug, too! Mama, I like it. Coco Mom went on your phone. Of course you can watch it on my phone, honey. Oh, but I think you should stay away from Molly and Daisy. I love them. I want to stay away from them. I know, honey. But the truth of the matter is, they both are sick, and I don't want you to catch it. Mama, I make a Snapchat. Oh, that's so cute, honey. But listen to what I'm saying. No catching what your sisters have. I love my mom. Of course, my mom. I need to go home. Molly? 
Oh my goodness, Molly, you look so sick. Get in, honey. Mom, I'm sorry, but I'm not faking it this time. Not, sweetheart. But maybe you should stop faking things so much in the future so you're believed. Yeah, you're probably right, but ugh. My stomach is so upset. I threw up at school, and it was like rainbows from the sandwiches I ate on the school bus. Ew. And aww. And also, ew. Okay, Mom's gonna run in and just get some chicken noodle soup and some other supplies, okay? Hang tight. Okay, Mom. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think I'm gonna throw up right here. Yup. I'm gonna. Bleah. Ew, this is terrible. I feel like some sort of monster on Halloween. Oh, worst day ever. I forget autumn. I got on Snapchat. Take a look. I'm back, girls. Are you okay, Molly? No, she flew up everywhere. I sent a snap of it to everyone. You did not, did you, baby Kira? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. OMG! Oh, baby Kira! Oh my gosh, you caught me barfing! Oh, that is so embarrassing. Mom, why'd you let her use your phone? Um, sorry. Oh, my life as I know it is over. Oh, Molly, this will blow over, I promise. Okay, let's go home and get you tucked into bed. I thought it was funny. Yeah, real funny. Uh-oh, I might have to have you pull over, Mom. Seriously, we're almost home. I know, but I'm going to throw up again, I think. Oh, no, Molly. All right, I'll take a shortcut. Okay, we're here. I got to run to the bathroom. Oh, this has been the worst stomach bug of my entire life. Oh, wait, where's the bathroom? I can't even remember. Okay, there we go. Oh. Uh, what what happened to the toilet? Uh -oh. Okay. Someone took the toilet out of our bathroom. Sorry, Molly, it wasn't working. So the repairman came today to take it back to his shop and fix it. Oh, who does that? Who steals a toilet? That's like something the Grinch would do. What am I going to do without a toilet? Use a different bathroom. Uh, I Snapchat that, Molly. What? What? Yeah, you were talking about how there was no toilet. It was funny. Ah, oh, give me that phone. I'm going to smash it. Get away, that mom phone. Give me that phone. I don't want people to see me like this. It's embarrassing. I'm going to smash it. I'm going to smash that phone and Snapchat with it. Molly, that's my phone, and it's a brand new iPhone. I haven't even paid for it yet. Well, tell baby Karen to stop Snapchatting everything because it's embarrassing. Yeah. I'll tell her. You go up and get in bed. Obviously, you're very sick. Okay. <laughs> Molly? Molly? Do you want to just get in here with me since we're both sick? Yeah. Oh, I feel terrible. At least you didn't get the pink spots. Yeah, I guess that's one good thing. <laughs> Like, Molly, do you feel better? I feel so much better. Yeah, I feel like all better. Thank goodness, that stomach bug was terrible. I know, right? Thank goodness it's over. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I'm actually like thinking like, wow, I would rather go to school than have that stomach bug. Ugh, I even slept in my clothes last night because I was too tired to even get in my pajamas. <coughs> Is that baby Kira crying? Sure sounds like it, Molly. I wonder if Mom's taking care of her. I'm gonna go check. I get your boy, I get boy, Baby Kira? Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, Baby Kira, are you okay? I feel good. Daddy, you boy, I get boy. Gosh, um, let me see what is considered a fever that I should take you to the emergency room if you're a baby. All right, I better get my thermometer. Oh my gosh. This is definitely a fever you need to go to the hospital for. 102? Baby Kira, wake up. Baby Kira? Oh my gosh, she's not waking up. Molly, Daisy, someone call 911. What did mom just say? 
I think she said baby Kira's having trouble waking up. She's really sick, Daisy. I, I need to call 911. Call them really quick, Molly, do it. 911, what's your emergency? Hi, I need an ambulance in my house. My baby sister, she's not really responding and she's sick with the bug or something. I don't know. We'll send an ambulance out immediately. Okay, thank you. She's in here. She's in here. Okay, ma'am. I'm going to do my best to take good care of your baby. Baby Kira, can you hear me? Oh, she's responding. Thank goodness. I was so worried. Excuse me, ma'am. You're going to have to leave. What time? Her mother. I'm not leaving. Well, you keep running into me, and I can't do my job if you're, well, in the way. I, 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 okay, fine. I'll wait outside the door, but take good care of my baby. Don't worry. I'm going to. Okay, baby Kira. I'm going to, um, listen to your heart, and I'm then I'm going to put you in the ambulance, and we're going to go to the emergency room. But don't worry. When this is all over, you can have a delicious lollipop. Yeah, baby Kira, everything's going to be fine. Doesn't this thing go any faster? Nope, this is as fast as it goes. But don't worry, I'm going to get your baby there just as soon as possible. I'm just so worried. Yes, this one goes faster. Pull over and let me drive. Okay, fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You forgot to hit the brake. You're a terrible driver for a paramedic. Hey, I just take care of people. I didn't say that I was a good driver. Well, I'm an awesome driver and we're getting my baby there quicker because she's really sick. Everything's gonna be okay, sweetheart. I promise. No, we're gonna drive the girl, Lydia. What? No, I'm not. I'm a good driver. I've never even gotten a ticket. Lydia, are you okay? No. This is all our fault. What? <gasps> Why is it our fault? Because we brought this flu home, and now baby Kira is so sick because she's a baby, and it's it's really my fault. Molly, the flu is just a bug. I mean, anybody can get the germs. We wash our hands, we do our best, but she still caught it. The stomach flu is very, very contagious. Oh, I just wish I had known I was coming to the hospital. I actually would have worn some shoes. Oh, I'm just so worried about baby Kira. Oh, my poor baby. I hope that you're okay. I really hope that you're okay. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Miley and I'm so smiley because today is my first day at my new hospital. I'm so excited to take care of so many adorable kids as your favorite doctor, Dr. Smiley Miley. <laughs> oh, look, I'm gonna dress up as a little dog, cute. <laughs> All right, time to go see my first patient. Bye everybody. What patient do I have first? Let's go see. Oh, what's going on here? Can you tell me your daughter's symptoms? Yes, my other two daughters who are older had what seemed to be the stomach bug, and now my baby has whatever they have, I think. Oh, well, we should run some tests and find out. Would you mind if I shared this on my TikTok? What? Yes? Oh, sorry, some of my patients actually let me um, just share their case on my Instagram and on my TikTok because I'm kind of a famous doctor here at the Children's Hospital. Have you heard of me? Smiley Miley. Wait, what? You're Smiley Miley? Oh my God. Did you hear that, baby Kara? We're going to be famous. But first of all, let's get your baby girl feeling so much better. Okay, sweetheart, I know you don't feel good, but I just need you to lay completely still while I do this x-ray of your chest and your tummy. I just wanna make sure that nothing else is going on, okay? Okay, the machine, let me just take, make sure it's in the right position. Okay, perfect. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, boop. I look at that boy, get up up here. Oh no, the machine doesn't actually make that sound. I just do for fun. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop. Shouldn't it make that sound though? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's so quiet, it's weird. Beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep. Okay, we're done. Let's take a look at your x-ray. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely have a sad fro. 
brownie face type of x-ray because you have an infection. You definitely need some medicine. Come on, sweetie, let's go back and see your mom. I'll have you feeling better in no time. For that matter, I think you can probably just spend the night for one night and then go straight home to rest in your own crib. Baby Kira, I was so worried. Is everything gonna be okay? I took a x-ray of her chest and tummy and it does look like she has um, an infection. So I'm gonna give her some medicine and keep her for observation overnight, okay? Okay, but she'll be okay? Yeah, she's a great and healthy little girl. She should be fine once this medicine gets in her system. Thank you, Dr. Smiley Miley. You're amazing. You're welcome. Here I am with my amazing little patient, baby Kira. Where are you, baby Kira? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? <laughs> anyway, guys. Oh, she's kind of being shy. Oh, wait, there she is. Yeah, she's adorable. And guys, today I'm going to make baby Kira feel all better. So make sure you log in to all of my social media channels to see how I do it. Bye. So we just got home from the hospital, everybody. Uh, my sister, baby Kira, is feeling so much better. She's just coming into the house now and she got medicine, so she's she's feeling much better. And my sister and I are all feeling better. Everyone's healthy. That's right, girls. Oh, I've had the most worrisome week ever. But at least we get to go back to school. What? Back to school already? Yeah, Molly, everybody's healthy. You get to go back to school. Oh, oh wait, um, Brookie's calling me, guys. I gotta end this snap. Whoa, she tried calling me like five times. <sighs> Hello? Hey, Molly. Ugh, I am so sick. What? Oh, no, you caught it. Yeah, did it feel like your stomach was trying to crawl outside of your body? Yep. Did it feel like you had to run to the bathroom every five seconds? Yep. Did it feel like you were dying? Yes, it totally did. Oh no, Bookie, I'm so sorry. We won't see you at school. Oh, this is terrible. Sorry. Uh, if we give it to you, I'm really sorry, Brookie. Girls, um, you have to say goodbye right now. There's something important on the news. Okay, Mom. Um, I gotta go, Brookie. I'll call you later to check on you. Bye, Molly. Bye. Feel better. Next up, we talk about a woman goes missing for years. But first, Brooke, this is crazy. All of our town is shut down for a week. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh, it's true. The entire town has got the stomach on. Oh my God. Do you think our toilets can handle that? Let me answer that. Probably not. School is closed for the rest of the week. Everybody, please stay home, stay inside, just DoorDash so that no one has to see the anyone else and we can just stop the spread of this crazy stomach bug virus. Molly, we seriously infected the entire town. Ow! Um, oopsie! 